Okay, am I live yet? I should be live. Okay, yeah, it looks like I'm live. Uh, let's see the patch notes. Fix an issue where placing the coiled sword uh, would crash the game uh, on the app. I actually had that happen quite a bit. Actually, the most annoying part is one time I was stuck in a crash loop until I patched the game. Down uh, patched the game. Added the ability to respect your character in the Nexus. That's actually really nice. Rather than doing a full playthrough. But then you can only challenge the bosses in the dream challenge at a chest within the uh, starting room of the nexus uh, which uh, contains key items you may have lost i have not run into the problem of losing items in the demo additional guidance for new players not exactly sure what that means increased soul gain from enemies that's actually really nice i felt like you're getting hardly any souls from enemies and uh, I found out that there were quite a few people who were just using Cheat Engine to like get to a respectable level. Reduce scaling of enemies' bosses in all areas. I'm very curious to see how much they're downscaled. More types of infusion gems are now obtainable. That's really good if I'm going to do a luck build because I would like to get a hollow gem and then get either a poison or bleed weapon so then I can get decent scaling. Tweaked enemy and boss resistances. I didn't notice any problems with resistances. Tweaked certain boss attacks and AIs. I really hope that means that the uh, Phoenix boss is not freaking spammy. That boss, that's the one boss where I only fought like once or twice. Well, defeated once or twice, just because I did not enjoy that fight whatsoever. It is not an enjoyable fight. Hey, cat, what up? I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> Fix various bugs uh, issues with uh, player equipment. I'm not sure what that is. More ways to obtain large titanite. That's good because there were only two that you can grab in the entire game. And then uh, one, only one enemy that you could farm that I found for large titanite. More Estus shards and undead bone shards. I don't feel like you needed more of that. Added various new treasures in each area. That's nice. Various tweaks to guard counters and perfect block. I'm still not sold on their perfect block system. New equipment added in this patch. Ooh, new armor. Angelic Paladin armor set. Outrider Night Shield. Irithal uh, Flamberge. Oh, so there's going to be three different Flamberges now. Because there's the Phoenix Tower, the regular, now Irithal. Sunless Spear. I'm guessing it's from those annoying enemies. Hey, Jesse! It's been a long time since I've seen you. How have you been? Play Clash of Clans. I've never touched that game. Maybe. Maybe one day I will sell out. and I mean, maybe one day I'll take interest and do it. Carthus Pike, Hazel Pick, Cathedral Knight Great Sword, Great Mace, Sage Ring. Ooh, that's good. Covetous Serpent Ring, Magic Clutch Ring. That's another really good one. Chloranthian Ring. Okay, they added a lot of good stuff for this patch. I, I feel like this is going to be much easier. So we're going to do a new game. Because I, I want to see from the very when start the how savior, this is. I don't turn to care about listening to all that. Um, this is a luck build, so it's going to be luck you. And, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah I, I couldn't finish a sentence, sadly. Class. Outcast, because that's the one with the luck. And I just want souls. I don't care about anything else here. Yeah. We're good. Easy. Been a minute. And, uh, doing good. Uh, how have the mods been going? Uh, mods have been pretty good. Uh, I just haven't really been up for streaming much lately because uh, sometimes you just feel like whining, you know? That, that's pretty much it. I have no good excuse for, like, why I'm not streaming much. At first it was because I was very busy with other things. I'm not particularly busy these days, but wait, why can I not lock? You are an enemy still, right? Okay, that was weird.
Is is the game volume too uh, quiet? It feels very quiet to me. I'm gonna turn that up. Oh no, you guys saw my poop password. Oh shoot. I, I really hope you guys don't use my poop password because this is the literally the password that I use with every single friend I've played any game on. So if you ever use my poop password and someone random joins into it, there's a good chance it's either me or my friend. And like, I mean a lot of random games. <laughs> Face reveal. Well, uh, you like my profile picture? It's me in real life. Is it? I can't see it. Um, very quiet. Where's your face cam? Uh, I just don't have the face cam on today because my room is very hot right now, so I don't have a shirt on. So, no. <laughs> that's it. That That's legitimately the whole reason. That's even, like, one of the big reasons why I didn't do a face cam when I first started. Because I started... Are you kidding? I'm stuck in a corner. This is going brilliantly already. But yeah, one of the big reasons why I didn't do face cam when I started streaming is because it was during the summer months and my room gets very hot. So most of that, I didn't... You know, sometimes you reveal too much. We're going to stop there. That's enough information. Some loser lost their souls here. <laughs> Whoever would do that. You know, I would rather die to these guys right now and, like, have full Estus for the boss fight. Just because, like, I kind of want to try and beat the boss. I don't think I will. Because he pretty much one-shots you. But yeah, how have you been, Cat? Uh, how does the Baki demon back go? Ah, that's a good drink. Dead face reveal, and uh, you can't even see it. No, I can't. I'll have to look at it later. <laughs> it looks like a black and white photo from what I can see. Are you kidding? I still got hit. Whatever. Do I dare grab it? I'll grab it. It wasn't worth it. Alright. Let's see if we can get this boss. Because you only get one shot. He seems a little bit more tanky. That or... I'm just balls weak. Probably got those balls out. Oh, cool. I killed someone outside. Well, he killed someone for me. You know, even though there's, like, a lot of versions of this boss in, like, most all the Souls games, I find them quite entertaining. If I remember, he does, like, this super wide swipe that can definitely, like, one-shot you that I don't want to happen. There it is. It's this ridiculously huge hitbox. I should have rolled into it instead of with it. It has color. It's you in a suit. I don't know. Maybe I can pull it up on my cell phone. I can't really pull it up on my uh, computer that's doing the streaming. That is not you. You're not even that old. <laughs> you. That is not you. I refuse to believe that's you. Young Holo, 
However, if you are upset that I don't believe you, it's your fault considering, like, I don't know, like half a year ago, you're like, face reveal! And then you send up, like, a picture of you when you were, like, what, four? Three? <laughs> so that's the only reference I have to go off of. Okay, let's see if they added some items that are just chilling around here, because they, they added quite a few items. How did someone die here? You have to be kidding me. The game is still a bit too quiet. All right. Hopefully that's not too too loud. Blech. Talk with you. I kind of, if they still kept like the old items in the same places, I kind of know a certain route that I, in a way I want to do, just to like get this luck build going. One of the big ones is uh, grabbing the Lloyd's, ta Lloyd's ring, Lloyd's sword ring. The one where when you're at full health, you uh, do extra damage, that one. But I am very curious to see what they tweak with boss AI. I, I have a feeling it might be something with the Phoenix boss and Flynn, because those were two bosses that felt very spammy. However, like Flynn, I tried it once with um, parrying, and it felt okay. But like, it, it almost felt like parry or infinite stagger was were the two options that you kind of had to do. Always oh, pranky, man. I knew it. I knew it. That's not you at all. Who is that? I can't even recognize that. Who is that, though? I know you don't have a full-grown beard like that. You don't got the chops for that yet. Maybe one day. Maybe in the... It, come back to me in, like, five years with that photo. Then I might believe you. Bro, it's you. The others were pranks. Ah, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. The others! Okay, am I really locked into uh, just going here? Or does it just uh, lock you to going here first and then now I can go to the other areas? You're for real. We'll see about that. We'll see about that, Cam. I really hope these are, okay, good. Ah, so that must be their way of guiding people, as first locking them to the first one. Your genes are mad strong. I used to have uh, strong genes too. Then I ate a lot of Taco Bell and ruined them. It's fun time. Good times. That's weird. I feel like I'm dropping frames more in this patch, though. And I'm in playing in 1080p. The other one, before this patch, I even played in 4K a couple times, and it was uh, fine at 60. Oh, I do poopy damage. It was for a funeral. Well, now, now you just got all serious with stuff. old greatsword I wonder if they sped up the greatsword because like I it's a terrible sword it's slower than other greatswords is it an ultra 
No, it's only a regular great sword, but it it moves slower than like the Flamberge, the Bastard Sword, and um, a lot of the other great swords. You moved to London last week because the scenery is immaculate. Did you really move to London? Why would you move to London? Actually, I don't even know where you lived before, so. <laughs> okay, that's good. Um, I don't really have a lot of strength, so I'm just gonna grab junk and run. Oh, they changed that out. That used to be a different weapon. Jeez, aggressive lady. Kind of like it. They had a uh, 20,000 camera. Had to say yes. A $20,000 camera? What camera was it? Give me the details of this amazing camera. Humanities. That's the same. So far, I'm not noticing much of a difference from pre-patch. But it looks like it's just like a couple of items and drops that have changed. Not too many other things. He just dropped down. Oh, he survived too. That's interesting. Mm, we're gonna go this way. I should just grab the shortcut, but I'm here. I want to grab stuff. Oh, they moved that guy. He used to stand, like, right here. Oh, that's the shard. Hey, stop that. Okay, that's pretty much all I needed. Oh, they removed this guy? There's a Herald character right there, or enemy, I should say. I mean, a lot of this is also very similar to regular Dark Souls. As far as enemy placement, the enemies are different, and am I going to crash? Yes, I will. Just going to kill the screen for a second while I get the mod. That's interesting. I had no crashes out there whatsoever before. I do wonder if this new patch has made it more unstable. Hopefully that didn't, like, put me too far back. I might want to go offline, actually. If I crash again, I'm going to shut off my uh, internet.
didn't understand that you're not a photographer. That's true. It's not very... Not something many people ask for. Actually, back when I was doing more video projects, I had that happen a couple times where um, a client would be like, well, this guy, he's going to do the job too. And he said that he's going to bring in his uh, $100,000 camera. And like, I would have to ask him, is like, is it really a $100,000 camera? Like, yeah, he said that it's a really expensive rig and all. Oh, don't fall off. Is that good? What's good? Just having an expensive camera? Mm, you know what's funny? I saw a YouTube short just the other day that was really funny where um, this guy, he made a YouTube short where he sees a guy shooting on a red Komodo dragon um, at the park. And then he's like, oh, hang on, let's do a shoot off. And like he grabs his at, the, at his apartment. And the thing is that red are they're pretty much like cinema cameras so like they always cost like a hundred thousand or so actually i haven't looked at cinema cameras for a long time now so it's possible that red has gone down to at least 50 or seventy-five thousand. but the thing is that like the two guys did like a shoot off shootout like where they um both like recorded some footage and stuff to see who uh, made the best footage and it was all junk and all the comments, people knew it. They said, wow, this proves that like, it doesn't matter how expensive uh, your setup is. If you uh, record like junk, it's junk. Purging stone. That was not there before, I don't believe. Uh, I think this was a humanity. Yeah, it's a humanity. Nope. They might have uh, decreased the mobs in this area because I saw a lot of people complaining about it. Like, playing through the first time, the mobs do seem ridiculous. But once you kind of know the safe areas, it's, it's not that bad. Can you stop chasing me? These guys have a ridiculous grab. Oh, this is a new item. Don't care. Don't grab me. Just grab the shortcut. Buying Skyrim, it was worth it. That's one that I do want to check out sometimes because, like, people absolutely love it. And Skyrim is a part of the reason why a lot of developers are, like, going crazy these days trying to, like, create a god tier um, game. Skyrim is definitely one of those games that have, like, elevated uh, the expected the expectations for playability that mountain it's above almost looks like a pyramid the Illuminati's real <laughs> crazy guy just uh, enjoying it uh, did you get Skyrim what did you get Skyrim on cat did you get it on PC that is a new item and I have never seen a hollow doing this before. I have never seen Limbo and Dark Souls. This is peak Dark Souls right here. Sorry, I was grabbing a drink. <clears throat> what is up with all these purging stones? Maybe people couldn't avoid the attack in Aldrich's fight? Because like Aldrich, that boss fight, he he has this annoying attack where like it builds up curse really fast but the thing is like it's very easy to recognize because it's raining crap out of the air and all you gotta do is run away it doesn't last very long so you can run away and if you run away he teleports near you anyways so i i didn't see a problem with that attack actually no i should keep one as this even though i have not used my magic whatsoever On PS5, if uh, Skyrim uh, high tier graphics, I feel uh, like everyone uh, would uh, play because everyone wants it. Well, that's why I was asking what you got it on, because um, well, then I, I've got I've got a PlayStation, but I I like buying my games on the PC because I like modding stuff, and like there's a lot of like upgrades to graphics on uh, Skyrim. 
Some of them that I've seen look really immaculate. Tanks your performance, but it looks great. <laughs> don't grab me, dick. Hey, don't run away either. Okay, apparently he has great poise. And doesn't backstab easily. Dude. Why do you have so much health? Yeah, this, this is getting a little bit ridiculous. I died to that. It wasn't even his grab attack. I don't remember him being that tanky, though. Why is he tanky out of all things? That's weird. For you, you used to be obsessed with uh, mods, uh, but now I don't uh, care because I don't have access to it. What do you mean you don't have access to it? I'm not really obsessed with mods. My obsession is more of if I really like a game rather than just play it over and over again, I can see other people's renditions of it or other people's takes, things that they would change in it. And like, it's not about like making the game feel new or anything. It's more of like, hey, I got to enjoy almost like free uh, content, free DLC for me. Screw you, you're not worth it. That wasn't worth it either. There isn't that much poison in this. I kind of wonder if they're even going to keep a poison swamp in this at all. Oh, come on. I swear, backstabbing was easier. Yeah. I feel like the enemy AI is avoiding backstabs a lot. What is going on here? There have been at least two or three attempts where, like, it was clearly a backstab, but then the guy jumped out of it. What is... They didn't do that at all before the patch, I swear. Yeah, yeah, you... Yeah, swing your wet noodles around. Just don't do it again. Also, he builds up bleed now from a distance. I don't remember him doing that. That's interesting. Mods are not for the rich. What is that supposed to mean? Oh, the whole Cathedral Knight armor? That's a really good heavy armor. Okay, I gotta... I, I want to do her quest, because that'll unlock, like, her uh, sorcery um, inventory. I swear. I thought I rolled. iPhones don't let you have mods, and PlayStation uh, 5 uh, doesn't. What am I uh, supposed to do? Work with what you got? <laughs> I, I don't see how that means uh, mods aren't meant for uh, the rich, though. Mods are meant for the people who want to try it and download it. That's who they're meant for. Unless you jailbreak uh, both of them. I remember the first time I heard about jailbreaking, I thought it was like the most hardcore thing I've ever heard of. Oof. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of drop frames now, which I, I swear I did not have this much of a performance issue. Um 
before. Let's let's switch to medium, I guess. Yeah, it doesn't look that great, but you know what? If it helps with no, it doesn't look like there's a performance change at all. <laughs> Ow, jerk. Dang, he really followed. Oh, both of them did. I am so dead. Hey, that's a new item. That wasn't there before. What are you? This guy's gonna attack me too now. Yeah, I knew he was gonna do that attack. Red bug. Maybe those were there. And I just forgot about them. That really hurt. Oh, you're still here. All right. I was not expecting him to be there, still. Ha! <laughs> Some loser left their souls. Should I get Skyrim or a VR game? Wait, hang on. Is it a VR game? I, 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 I still have that problem where like YouTube cuts off the end of the sentence for me right there. I'm just gonna put down a period just so it bumps it up for me so I can see it. Oh, VR game. My problem with VR games though is most VR games they're only like 10, 20 hours of playable time. They're not, you don't get like a ton of play time with them, and at the same time. A lot of them you can't really play for too long uh, before getting like kind of the headache or anything. I like VR games a lot. It's just um... gosh darn. Okay, whatever, Roly Poly. Ow. Yeah. Time is a sandbox means sandbox. Well, what VR game would you get? Um, it was like two months ago, I think. I played through Arizona Sunshine with my friend Donnie. And I remember that game was like amazing when it first came out. The thing is buggy as hell. <laughs> it's ridiculously buggy. It's just because like VR is still kind of like a new field, so like a lot of developers can get away with like putting out something extremely buggy because they don't have the hard competition for it. Uh, I, I think uh, the VR game section still needs a little bit of time to mature. There are some good VR games out there, and I do still enjoy VR a lot, but the price to performance isn't quite there yet. Is Gorn good? I like Gorn. Gorn is a lot of fun. I haven't played that for years. I just want to get rid of that stupid guy. Also, I heard that there's quite a few of uh, new updates to Gorn Hello. that I have not seen yet. Okay, we're good now. Actually, yeah, you can get a lot of good playability out of corn, now that I think about it. I never did all the challenges for it. When I first got Gorn, I was still in college, so it was one of those games that like I would hook up for like people to try out VR, and a lot of people enjoyed it. Oh 
Okay, we're gonna go back to the Nexus and, uh, and upgrade real quick. You can get Arizona Sunshine. It's like, it's a mildly entertaining game, but like it is not worth the price. It should be like a $15 game. That's what I think. And like, I went into playing Arizona Sunshine with uh, my friend a, a couple months ago thinking, yeah, if this is a really good play uh, experience, we're gonna get Arizona Sunshine too, because they have a new one. Mm -mm. Nope. After uh, Arizona Sunshine being so buggy and being out for many years, like there's a lot of bugs in it that could, oh wait, I need to go uh, level up, what am I doing? There are a lot of bugs in Arizona Sunshine that could have been patched out years ago and they never bothered. So I looked at the reviews for Arizona Sunshine 2. It has a lot of the same bugs. A lot of bugs in it. I mean, I mean, it was a fun time. It was a fun time playing with my friend because it's fun doing co-op in VR. But just know that it's buggy. VR platform. Quest 2 hooked up to my uh, PC. I don't have any uh, games on my quest. I haven't bought anything from uh, Meta. Not that I have anything against them, it's just that I prefer buying my games in Steam and running it through Steam. Why, what are you on? Are you just on a quest or something? Let's get that luck up. Wow, 23 right off the bat. This is going to make me kind of a glass cannon, but I'm fine with that. Will I have enough to level up? Oh yeah, one more of those and I have enough to level up one more time. Yeah, I think I gotta kill someone first. Tune a lot. There we go. Okay, let's uh, let's take on our first boss. I don't know how well this will go. Hmm, maybe I should do two Estus and uh, three in blue. Problem is, I just cannot get hit much. All right. We shall see how this goes. Actually, that's another thing that I'm wondering. I'm wondering if they fix the staff. Because the staff that my character has right now, it takes Shriving Stones to upgrade. But, like, before... Um, it wasn't working. You would upgrade, but like it didn't cause any scaling or damage uh, difference to your uh, weapons whatsoever. I mean, to your uh, output whatsoever. People are saying Arizona Sunshine is boring, so after 20 minutes, uh, they quit. If I played it alone, yes. because Again, because I was playing with my friend, it was entertaining. But it's not a game that I would be playing on my own. They added a horde mode to it, it's atrocious. It's a terrible horde mode. I, I did not enjoy their horde mode at all. It it just felt like something that they threw together in the evening with the assets that they had. Hmm. I really thought that I could just run right past that. Is he gonna completely kill me? Almost. That's really annoying. I'm cursed, but I don't know what that curse does.
Well, that could have hurt. That game sound was... What? What was that game sound? You have something you want to say to the game? You want to play this mod now? Is that what it, is that what's going on? I hope at least two of those guys fall down and die. Gonna give it a second. Shoot, I only have two hunters. I can hear them still. They're still up here. What are you guys doing here? Get away. Gosh darn. Fine, I'll grab that item later. I don't need it now. Oh, thank you. Thank you! That was all of them. Oh, I still hear someone. What was this item? Blessed gem. That's pretty good. Might use that. Okay. Time to take on a monkey. D. Luffy. Cool. Uh, let's see. Hopefully this goes well. Two hundred and six damage. That is nice. Gosh darn. I'll drink. I should have got the Grass Crest Shield. I am, like, very low on stamina. Boy, she is a great tank. I wonder if they fixed the NPCs. Because I tried to play through where I like hunted down to see what NPCs you can summon for fights. And a good portion of them, they wouldn't even enter the boss fight. Or they would like go into the boss fight and then just stay running at the uh, fog gate. Like a lot of them were busted. Oh, this was an easy fight. Nice. Okay, that's great. I just needed this scroll so I can give it to her back at the Nexus. And I'm not running that junk back. Cool. I don't think you can get anything with the cursed... Uh, Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, let's get that health up because I'm going to run through the Phoenix Tower, which can really just rip me apart. How much is this going to give me? 8,000? 8,000. I have enough stuff to sell. I have enough stuff to sell, but I'm unwilling to sell. <laughs> Too greedy.
Okay, does he have anything new? I think those are all the same miracles as before. Yep, same items. I think these are all the same spells as well as before. Ooh! Oh, I should have. I should have bought that instead of spending my souls on other things. That would have been good. Crystal gem. Goodbye. Shoot, 5,000. I, I definitely don't have the souls for that right now. All right, we're about to see how difficult Phoenix uh, is now. Just this one. Yeah, this is the right one. I'm mainly here because I want the Grass Grass Shield. <clears throat> And uh, the Sun Princess Ring. I really like those items. But supposedly they added the Chloranthian Ring someplace in this uh, demo. But I gotta figure out where. Or I wouldn't be surprised if they changed out the Grass Cross Shield with the Chloranthian Ring. That is a possibility. Mm, I think we're gonna do all health. Oh, there's an item there which I don't think was there before. Yep, that rapier is new. I don't recall there being a rapier there before. Uh, what's this? Oh! That's, that's really good. I'm okay dying. Kind of. Well, that's extremely easy to grab. They're practically putting it in your inventory for you, putting it right there. Well, now I may not even uh, need that. Well, I don't know. Is it still the Grass Crash Shield in that um, chest, though? Because that almost defeats the whole purpose of it being in that chest, which is tricky. I thought that I was going to be out of his reach. I'm hoping that this is a different item now. No, it's still the Grass Crash Shield. Oh, I thought I was going to die. Okay, maybe I can make it all the way over to the Sun Princess Ring then. I don't need to heal yet. I'm really hoping that there's an enemy that drops hollow gems. But I, I really would like to have a hollow infused um, weapon. I thought I am offline. That's annoying. Okay. That was actually ridiculously easy to get here. I'm going to go dark mode real quick just to uh, turn off steam. I don't want that to be popping up too much. Okay. That's better.
I always forget to use divine blessings. How strong am I against these guys? That's pretty good damage. Actually, this is great damage for starting off. I'm on 140 when I'm not buffed. I don't care if you throw junk at me, lady. <laughs> You're dead. Ooh, there's an item over here now. Hello. Titanite shard. I don't think that was there before. We can put you on. And then I just need 5,000 for the um, Sage Ring. And that pretty much is set for uh, the rings that I want. That, that's a pretty good set of rings. I might swap out some later, but in general, that works for me. Yeah, I'm struggling on stamina still. Oh, that takes up like half my stamina bar just to cast. That's... Oh my gosh. Really? The sidestep. okay damage. Not the best, but not the worst either. Oh yeah, they really need to fix that. Like NPCs never use their flask, like the ones that you're helping and summoning. There we go. Because especially with the Tarkus quest line, if you try and do the Tarkus quest line, he just never drinks his Estus. So like you have to try and shell out as much damage as he can before he dies. gonna grab this last bonfire since I'm here and then I have all the bonfires for this area which is nice yeah, of should really find some bone shards oh my gosh that's a lot of souls you got from those guys dying I don't know, it almost feels like the souls are too generous now. <laughs> oh well. They, I guess it'll help with people's first time playthrough of it. But they won't get like so frustrated and upset about some stuff.
Morning Star. Oh yeah, I think that was there before. Oh, you little turd. Yep, didn't even get to him. Cool. You know what, no Ember. Three thousand six hundred to level up. I want to see if I can get that other quest going real quick as well while I'm here. There should be a sign that I think I can grab real quick while running. I don't know if you have to kill all the enemies first though. Oh wait, I don't have all the bonfires. There's one left. And it's a really annoying bonfire. Oh, there it is. Can I do it before dying? Yes! Okay, cool. If I die when I get back, I'm okay with I'm kind of okay with it. Yeah, so like I'm not going for a challenge or anything. I, I'm pretty much going to try and show people like the easiest way to do this mod if they feel like it. Because my first time playing through this, I did not know that there were like NPCs to summon at most of these boss fights. It was until I played through it a second time that I like stayed embered through almost all of it. And I'm like, there's a ton of stuff I missed. A lot. Oh shoot, I gotta get ready to roll. Just die. Thank you. You know what? That ran a lot better than I was expecting. Way better. Can you do this like in Dark Souls 2? Yes, you can. Cool. Yeah, that's... That I wanted. Okay, I do kind of want to get a Shriving Stone to see if I can get stuff to upgrade. I can do some stuff in Karthus. Oh, yeah. Actually, there's a couple things that I want to collect in Karthus that will make things a lot easier. Same spells. Same as uh, before. Farewell. Do I have some souls I can Be spend sure real quick? To make good nope. That's alright. I wonder if these guys are still just as annoying as before. I'm going to say yes. They do seem a bit weaker. Yeah, they're just as annoying. You going to jump through it? No. You didn't. 
I don't know. I, I think that's slightly better. Because before, I think they were a lot more aggressive and would jump through a lot more magic if you're casting. Is the worm going to pop up right here? Where's the worm? There's the worm. They add more guys. I thought it was only two over here. That's interesting. Ooh, I think there's more items around here. Nothing amazing, though. Oh, yeah. They definitely loaded this up with more items. I don't remember there being any items right here. This is just going to be another blossom. Oh, Karthus Blood Ring. Actually, I think I did grab that before. What does it do again? Boost the rolling invincibility at the cost of defense. Yeah, I, I do think I had that before. I really don't want you guys chasing me. Yeah, I'll come back to them. Fall damage. Oh, that is new. I don't remember there being lightning gems right there for infusions. Well, that's nice. Really suck if that weren't popped up right underneath me. I should be able to take on this next boss. Okay. Should. Just to make sure, I kind of want to uh, buy that uh, sage ring real quick, just for the faster casting. I should kill this guy first. He'll get in the way. Oh yeah, these guys are definitely weaker. These guys were like crazy tanks before. Yeah, that is definitely downscaled. This guy didn't really need to be downscaled. He, he was pretty pro... Okay. Of course. Magic is not that good against these guys. I thought I could get that off. There we go. Oh, yeah. Once I grab that ring, this next boss should be very easy right here. 
Just got to go back to the Nexus, buy that ring. We're good. Thing is, I don't know which boss I want to go after after this one. I could go to the first area because I haven't done anything there. You. Goodbye. I know she sold like two things. Oh wait, no, she didn't sell anything before. It was only sorceries. So yeah, it's nice that she sells this now. Uh, we'll just take that off. Otherwise, I'm gonna be fat. I do kind of wonder if this boss can be infinitely staggered. Because that's how I beat him in my first time, is uh, using, what was it? I think it was the Flamberge. Just keep on charging into him. Oh, wait, I need more FP. I don't think I have enough. I'll run out of FP before I kill him. That's better. There's this bug where like it doesn't replenish it. You have to rest again. Or maybe that's not a bug. Maybe that's a feature. Just to make sure that you're paying attention to this stuff. Okay, now we're good. I hoped I'll be doing decent damage. Because right now I'm at 26 luck. Oh, great da- That hurt. That's great damage. Oh, even without the full house buff. Oh, phase two already. I don't like his phase two. It's just too much junk all over the ground. I, I don't like when, like, the entire arena is covered in stuff. Actually, that fire went away a lot faster. Before, it used to like last for a long time. Mm, yep. Wow, I almost did it in one flask. Yeah, the luck build is great at this game. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can just spend his souls right off because he does not have a boss weapon. Unless they added one, which I highly doubt. I don't think that they added anything of that caliber. Yeah, we'll go. Yeah, I think I'm gonna rip through the first area. That might be my plan. Hopefully I have enough to get to 20 um, Vigor. And we are good. Oh yeah, just two to Vigor. Yeah, nothing off of him. But I do need to remember to uh, buy Pyromancy. Because there are some enemies that are like really resistant to this dark magic. So I have to switch to Pyromancy for those ones. really the only pyromancy I need. I'm probably never going to use the smaller ones. Nice. Satisfied. Yeah, 
I do feel like I'm getting a lot more levels really quick now with this rebalance. Like, it feels like a lot of souls that I'm getting. Oh, let me see if this guy gives me an unbed, an undead bone shard now. Yep, there we go. I needed that. I think you have to kill just one boss, and then he will uh, give you the undead bone shard. I may try and grab the Storyteller Staff, just because that's one of my favorite items. I, I really like the uh, spore poisoning it does. But considering how much damage my guy is already doing, it may not be needed whatsoever. A lot of stuff is feeling a lot easier. Gosh darn, I thought I could outrun him. Oh, you... Alright, I feel a little bit better. I haven't played this enough that I know like all of the item changes, but I do feel like I'm noticing quite a few new items already, which is nice. Because like when I first played through this, it felt like I had a half build, a half built um build, which should be right if it's a full game. But since it's only the demo, you can only get and put in so much. Oh, when did they put in that ladder? That is new. That ladder was not there before. I think I'm going to use that ladder right now. Um, but I'm going to take on that boss as well, which means we need the Asus. And we need to change to Pyromancy. And hopefully, the fire cluttering is still up here. Because that's going to help us. Hey, good. Ow. You were not there before. So, new ladder, but new annoyance. And bless gems. Oh, they fight each other. I'm okay with that. Really? I'm getting destroyed by a thrall. I, I gave up that. <laughs> he destroyed me mentally before he destroyed me physically. I, I had no will to fight him after seeing that a three-hit combo. <laughs> I think I won't take the ladder this time. The ladder is faster, but it puts you right in the middle of everyone right there. Okay, no matter what, you're there. That's great. I, I'm glad that he is there to uh, 
help us. I do wonder if they downscaled this boss. I, I'm assuming when they said that said that they like changed the scaling of bosses and stuff, but they're talking about like the later areas. Th this boss didn't feel like he was like horrendously out of the league for like this far into the game. Okay, what do we want to sacrifice? Yeah, you know what? Even though it's faster casting, I'd rather do that just so like I don't try and abuse throwing one ball after another. How much damage are we doing? Oh my gosh. This guy has no chance. Okay, he's got a chance. Really? My balls are going right over him. Off, don't you? Come on, give me an opening. There we go. I like that. Oh, I'm right between the legs. Are you gonna fall down? I think one. If I had more health, I'd be okay being in the crotch, but I don't. That was weird. It was like a semi-phase two that just happened right there. That's annoying. Oh, I'm so dead right here. It looks like they fixed the stagger on those. Because you used to get like ridiculous stagger. Okay. Cool. Alright, that wasn't bad. I believe you don't get any weapons from uh, transposing his soul either. So we can just spend that. Of course, it would be kind of cool to see what weapon you would make out of him. Really? Thank you. I have no idea what this chick does or what does talking to her, but I always do it. Oh, I thought I heard someone. I don't think that charcoal pine was there. Since I'm here, why not? Ooh, wow, that's good damage. Oh, only two. I thought I was going to take three. Human pus. And a number. Accept that. That body almost pushed me off. No drop.
Okay, I think I want to go back to dark. And I'm happy with my SS allocation. Hopefully I don't get squished on the way. I think this is the claymore over here. It's another good sword. You hit me. Okay. I think this should be alright. I think I'll do, be doing enough damage. I can just shoot him in the head and be okay. Oh, I want to switch out. Okay, now we're good. Oh, yeah, 214. We are good. Nothing to worry about here. Those ones are pretty rough. I, I don't know why. It, the timing on that gets me. Oh, why did I do that? <laughs> He's just styling with those uh, shots. Oh, he's doing a lot less damage than before, I think. Or not. I don't remember him doing a four combo. All right. That was messier than it should have been, but not bad. Havel's ring, Havel's ring. Yeah, there's nothing I want to switch out for Havel's Ring right now. For a second, I thought that was a, uh, a chest right there next to me. Let's go level up. So yeah, I'm planning on just going crazy with the luck stat. Oh, 
Ooh, that is way cheaper. It used to be 5,000. That is very nice. And he already sells Titanite. Before, um, you could only get that after giving him an item. Which means I might be able to buy his item for buying Titanite already. I mean, once the full release comes out, I think they can upscale a lot of stuff. It's just, you're very limited within the demo. Ten thousand. Okay, it's still ten thousand. Uh, too bad we're gonna use that. Soul. I'm not gonna use a Siege Golem's weapon, so. Cool. I have a feeling I'm not going to really need to buy Titanite, though, but it's nice to have. Okay, I did grab that. Oh, I should buy a torch, too. There's one boss in particular that the torch helps with quite a bit. Unless you're good at rolling. You're welcome to the Okay. to go back there at some point because he does drop his armor or at least he used to I don't know if he still does I don't remember there being an item here before That was weird. Oh, you're annoying. Yeah, you guys can all fight each other. I'm okay with that. I don't know why, but backsteps are feeling kind of tricky right now. It might be all in my head, though. That was weird. Can you come in here? Oh my gosh, you can. I thought he was a tubby lord. Oh, dude, you are following me everywhere. No one invited you to this. I just want the soup. What? I feel like that should have been a backstab.
Okay, that one should have been a backstab as well. Whatever. We're moving on. We're gonna get over it. I don't think that long sword was there before. How much is this? Oh, that's great. That's very good. Way more than I expected. Oh, you're a snake hat, aren't you? Yeah, they definitely nerfed the snake hat, snake hat guys. They had way more health than that before. Did you already drop? No, you did not. Thrall hood, nice. Oh, he dropped something? I didn't even notice he dropped something up there. Okay, now I'm peeved that I'm gonna like miss an item on accident. No. Nothing here to miss. What did this guy drop? Firebombs. Something I'll probably forget that I even have. guys are a lot weaker than they used to be. Don't trap me in here. Oh, I'm freaking trapped. Maybe I should open up the other shortcut instead. I was going to go this way, but... Yeah, let's go to the other shortcut. fight.
Wow, not even putting up a fight for the other guy. There we go. Finally, a backstab that worked. No other items. Now I feel like I gotta check everywhere because they added a couple of new things. Yeah, I'm not messing with you. Are you worth it? Nope. <laughs> that didn't feel worth it. Okay, so we've got that boss. Do I want to do that boss right now? I think I'm going to go rest at the bonfire first. The one thing that drove me crazy about that boss wasn't really like the dual boss or anything. It was more of um, the little gravestones that are in that boss fight. My character got stuck on it a couple times, which was really annoying. I should get invaded here for joining that covenant. Let's see. No. Oh, there it is. Took a second. That's not terrific damage. But he's a tubby lord. Tubby lords know how to take one. He hasn't tried his mirror. There you go. His miracle, yeah. Is he really gonna just spam that now? Okay, cool. Alright. And I think if I go to this bonfire, I should be able to get new armor that I like. screen. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, why not? 
I do like the armors they added to this game. A lot of them look really cool. Um, oh, actually, let me run this way. I might be able to grab the bastard sword, which yeah, I may or may not use. We'll see. <clears throat> that was a really long recovery. Is there Adam this way? No. Oh, he's not here. All right, well, rather than run all that, we're just gonna homeward bone then. Oh, you, <laughs> I thought I was gonna get that. Hmm, close to dying. That guy could have got me. Fine. I'll just walk to the bonfire. He left a bad taste in my mouth. Don't commit suicide. That's not the way. this part that's fine we can beat him i think he uh spawns in the apothecary room mm, gotta love mages <laughs> most difficult gameplay ever I don't think he even... He backed up into his room. He only took one swing. And he doesn't even give souls, I don't think. Yeah, no souls. I just realized we can also take on Janara as well. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. that. That'd be interesting. I mean, we don't have to play in order of like easiest to most difficult areas, so why not jump around, test out our build, see if uh, our guy can hold up. I'm gonna get squashed. When I first tried this mod, this was the first area I went to. First guy, instantly one shot at me. Not bad, but not good either. Also, I do not want you on. I should drink. Oh, I didn't uh, use my undead bone shard yet. I need to do that. I would have had full health if I, if I remembered to do that.
Do they fix this item right here? This one is like kind of tricky to grab. Yeah, it's still kind of sticky. Why do things have to be so sticky? Couldn't have it. Yeah, I want to burn that bone chart actually. And I don't feel like fighting her right now. I can give you about 95% assurance I would die if I try to fight her right now. I'm a scummy mage. I gotta get a tank. Okay. Cool. Now we should be good. guys chasing me. to reload the area for him to uh, start his thing. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna try reloading, see if uh, that gets his... Because uh, he should have a sign right there so I can help him in his world. Hopefully he doesn't die before I kill the boss because it's really annoying. I'm sorry, dude. Oh. Phase 2 all in. Oh, it's all on him. That's not good. They really gotta make the NPCs tankier or, like, actually use the Rastus. 
I don't know if they're bugged and they don't use their Estus, or if they just weren't given Estus. Ooh, that's good. Hopefully she doesn't do her phase two thing again, because that would really suck. Okay, this wasn't as bad as I was expecting. This what this was a lot easier than I expected. Hey Caleb, how's it going? How have you been, dude? Are you all done uh, first trying your Elden Ring with uh, your Halo Scythe build? been fine. That doesn't sound too enthusiastic. Foolish emissary, drowned in the stench of curiosity. I shall put thee down. Fitting of a mongrel. Come on, I know I rolled that. Mm, I'll read that in just a moment. Actually, they did make that NPC a lot tankier than he used to be, which is good. That's nice. Where is she? There you are. Split. That's interesting. Down to your little hideaway thing again. She might disappear again. I, I hate that like some of these bosses just straight up disappear for a while and you cannot fight them or do anything. It's very aggravating to me. Okay, there we go. 
what a fun time was reminded that a millennia would be an amazing fight if waterfowl had a longer uh, telegraph and she had no lifesteal and if her uh, rushing uh, kick was a guaranteed punish window but i also quickly realized that the uh, moab fight is actually a mess piece of the uh, fight it was so good. Love Godfrey, but Dingmo moved up to your uh, second favorite. Wow. And Double Scythe was uh, pretty fun uh, to play with in the game. I'm not going to lie. Thinking of doing a fourth one with a colossal weapon. I'm planning on the Golem's Hellbird because it looks cool. Opinion. I, I mean, that's exactly why I have so many playthroughs of um, Elden Ring. Is It's just fun doing a new build. I like it. But then, like, that's also why it was killing me doing those long runs. Like, those open areas where you have to ride Torrent across. Because, like, I want to test out my build more. And I'm here just waiting to, like, get my horse across the field. How much damage do I do against you? That's pretty good. That's real good. Yeah, that's great damage. But I do like that like a lot of different weapons have different speeds. So then it does change the flow of the battle. And then like I, I never did a mage or ma or ranged a build before before I streamed. But like once I tried it on stream, I was like, hey, this is another really cool way of playing. Is like I, I always looked at like doing magic or ranged as like cheesing things because like it feels like very low risk. But in a way, there are some bosses that have harder moves from a distance because, like, it's got it's a bigger AOE, bigger range that you have to like watch out for. She's like C tier, so kind of bad though because of uh, those few gripes. That's why Elden Ring, uh, more than any other uh, Soulsborne game, uh, needs a Sekiro style uh, system uh, for refight bosses. Yeah, a lot of people would love that. Renala is apparently uh, much harder uh, with magic. Well, yeah, she's extremely resistant to it. And then she doesn't move fast. But the thing is that, like, when you cast magic, it takes a while to, like, cast. And by the time you do, she probably already hit you with a um, something, with some uh, spell. And getting hit by that spell is going to uh, knock you out of it. So that that's one thing that makes Renala a little bit more tricky. Renala is definitely a boss where, depending on your build, she can be horrendously easy or, like, a real pain in the butt. She happens to be one where, like, if you're doing a very low uh, health build with, like, low stamina, she can be very annoying. <laughs> But yeah, don't you have the spring break break coming up soon? Forgot about you. Ow, you didn't forget about me. It's like the uh, only fight you can uh, think of it is harder with magic other than maybe Melania because of her ranged dodge. Uh, for Melania, you just gotta choose like a slower, a slower uh, spell. Because what will happen is if you do a slower spell, it'll track to where she, um, where she uh, tried dodging to. Um, who else is tricky for? Uh, Elden Beast and Radagon can also be tricky for uh, casting, just because they can uh, stay on top of you quite a bit. I want to talk to this chick, but I don't want to talk to this chick. I'll talk to this chick. Hello. Do you sell anything? No, she doesn't sell anything. Come again. Looking on it right now. Uh, looking forward to the eclipse in a few weeks. Sun uh, gets uh, to go bye bye in your house for a few minutes. Yeah, I'm in the same region as you. Um, I'm kind of surprised. A lot of schools are uh, doing the whole day off for uh, the eclipse. Are you kidding? Get or get over here! Gee. Yeah, yeah, I knew you were coming. It's 
Really? And I can't... So I'm trapped. And I do horrendous damage. That's okay damage, but I got to cast. I'm screwed. I'm right by the bonfire, and I'm screwed. Unless I can quit out in time. Did I quit out in time, though? I hate that. Stuck in a corner like that. First time to actually see a total uh, solar eclipse uh, that's not on a video. It's very cool. Um, I saw it six, six, seven years ago when I was out west. They had that. It's uh, if you can have a lot, a lot of stuff with shadows around. The shadows are the best, and I don't mean like like full shadows, but like um, if you have like shadows from the leaves of a tree or something, because they create really cool patterns. One ninety two. That's decent damage. This guy has a lot of Radagon's moves. And then you'll also see uh, Artorius from Dark Souls One in him. Well, I shouldn't have been reading chat at the moment. <laughs> may not have enough flask for this. Yep, I'm not going to have enough flask for this. That's going to be better for me to come back later when I have more flasks. Dang. I'm only going to get close. That's odd. I should have been able to roll that. But the roll didn't come out fast enough. I'm like right in the middle of uh, the path of the uh, totality. If I uh, want to be even more... If it, this kind of rat again. No, I... No, I wouldn't call this guy a discount Radagon at all. This guy has a lot more moves than Radagon. I don't know. Yeah, I don't like that there's been a ton of people who have been, like, ripping on this mod saying, oh, they just, like, reskin bosses and stuff. It's a lot of work to just reskin as well. Yeah, I'm definitely going to die here. Yeah, I need more flasks. That's not gonna work out. Uh, and also, yeah, what really irks me about people saying that it's just reskin this and that is uh, they don't realize that there's quite a few different move sets that are added, and like those move sets had to be tweaked to work with that model to flow together. Like, I am kind of impressed with how they've been able to meld quite a few different move sets, and like it works with that boss. However, I will also mention this mod has the one boss that I absolutely hate in all souls. <laughs> it's the Phoenix. And for like many reasons. Out of all bosses I have ever played in Souls games, I have a deep desire, like hate for that boss. Mm, what do I want to do? But like that deep hatred that I have for that boss, it's also because like, um, oh, actually I do want to do this. It's because it bugged out a lot 
where in its second phase it can like disappear and reappear which is annoying in itself but like it would bug out so often where it just disappeared and never came back so I had a lot of like attempts on it where I should have been able to win but it just left it's gone been getting really worked up about Elden Ring bosses uh, hate lately yes there are bosses that deserve it like the uh, person duo fire giant millennial but others do not deserve the hate at all well that's why I just say is like why hate in general like a lot of people are just so ready to rip on games and people's works these days like one thing one of the things that ticks me off probably the most that I've seen in my own discord is how blue he tried to post like some of the work that he's doing and then people went up there and just like oh it looks like a woman and like started making fun of it no one knows how many hours he put into making that I don't know how many hours it is. He never mentioned how many hours it is. All I know is that he really wanted to get into art and he was really trying. He was trying his hardest. And I know it because like there are a lot of streams where I would ask what he's doing and he would mention he's working on a um on um a portrait. Where am I going? This way. But what what I hate about it is these days you ask him He's not working in art anymore. I think part of it broke his soul. Morgoth, Malekith, Moog are the three that get unwarranted amounts of hate by people claiming they are unfair. Um, My only thing with Moog is I just feel like he does a lot of damage. If he did like slightly less damage, I wouldn't be so upset about him. That, that's that's the only thing. Like he's the only boss where like when he hit, hits you, it's like holy crap! Like you took out way more health than I feel like you should have taken. But considering he's gonna be like the gatekeeper of the um of the DLC and stuff, I with that in mind, I think it is a little bit more appropriate of like how how much damage he outputs. Wait, is this guy here now? What, where is this guy? I don't know, maybe that guy's quest line was changed. But like, I really like the bastard sword in this. Maybe I'll do Flamberge instead. Because the Flamberge is really good in this. Dexter, ah, but it takes a lot of stats. Never had a problem with the uh, damage, especially since he uh, drops the uh, third most runes of any boss in the game. And barring uh, Millennium Red Gun. Yeah. I, I think the bigger problem is that, like, you can get to him before you're at, before, like, you know that you're at the very end game. So I think people might have a misinterpretation of his placement, which, like, could lead to a lot of frustration. It's very frustrating getting to a boss before, um, and like taking tons of damage not knowing that um you're in the wrong place so I, I i don't think people have the right build for that area at the moment and that's why there's extra hatred towards uh, moog for malekith i think a little bit of extra comes from uh, the run and also having the stupid dragon sentinel right in front of him that that's kind of annoying who was the other one who had a lot of hate morgoth I think the the reason why people would hate Morgoth is just because um, he has like some uh, longer uh, chain moves. That that probably would tick off some people. But like once you fight them and you understand them, I don't think they're that bad of bosses at all. Uh, super sad. Haven't kept up with the Discord, but uh, 
he is really good with art. Yeah, I, I hope he's doing well. I'm not sure if he's still subscribed to the channel because um, since I've done face, turn on the face cam, um, he popped in once. He said two things and disappeared. He didn't say goodbye, no nothing. But I did lose one subscriber that day. So I don't know if he unsubscribed that day. It, it was something along the lines of he's just like, oh, and then that was it. Oh, you dick. Get out of here. You too. Actually, I wonder if I lost more subscribers. Lately, I have... Uh... Oh, well, that's surprising. Lately, the pattern has been anytime I um, stream with facecam, I lose a subscriber or two. Oh, well. I guess that's how it goes. Oh, the only reason why I don't have the face cam on right now is because it's really hot in my room. And uh, I don't have a shirt on, so no face cam. Okay, cool. Wow, he has a grab. Hadn't been heard from him for months. Hope he's doing it. I do too. Um... What he mainly mentioned, because uh, he did pop in before I was doing the face cam, and he mentioned that like he's working, he's got a good relationship going, a new relationship. So overall, he seems happy. And because uh, he mentioned that before, I I'm assuming that like maybe he's just busy with uh, other things in life, which is good for him. I really like the face cam. Oh, thanks, man. I think you're the first one who's ever said that. <laughs> Besides Cat. Cat Cat always likes those things because he likes interacting. I just like the face cam because it, it makes me feel like I'm not trying to like cheat people and like make it seem like I'm something that I'm not. Mm, do I want to fight bosses here? Yeah, why don't we... <laughs> trying to think. Let's try a boss. Actually, before we do that, do I have the Titanite? Yes. I'm going to go upgrade my Pyromancy Glove. Yeah, it seems like most people uh, watch the streams because they like the conversations too. Which again, that's why I try and I I like the idea of the face cam because like, all right, it's more real. It's like actually conversing with a person, and, and I've mentioned many times before I have a huge distaste for uh, VTubers because it feels very fake and like there aren't like whole there aren't like very deep conversation I, I don't know there's no depth to the conversations that's what i want to say a lot is like oh wow and that's it as a, a bunch of people are like oh my gosh so cute even though it could be like some dude with a uh, voice filter back there reinforce cool so nice. well. actually maybe i should go around and kill all these guys yeah, maybe I'll do that real quick. Okay, can I use the bastard sword right away? Ah, oh, even two handing, I can't do it. Um. That should be enough. All right, I'm going to go level up strength first. So just so I can uh, handle the bastard sword. Exactly. I mean, I, I told you guys the very moment that I decided to use face cam. 
is it was the Elden Ring DLC trailer. And like, just because I watched that trailer, everyone had to do a reaction of it. Everyone. It's like, I don't mind people doing a reaction like live with their audience because it's like something you've been waiting for. But like, why make a whole YouTube video about it? It adds no value to nothing. And like, because I watched the, uh, because I watched um, the actual trailer, I was getting suggested like tons of uh, people reacting to it. And like a lot of more VTubers. And like, I kept on clicking, not interested, not interested. And I was finally like, finally like, all right, you know what? I'll give one a try. I clicked on it, and like, it showed that one like lion boss, the one that like looks like the Chinese uh, dragon dance. And like, the VTuber, it's all cutesy wootsy, and the only thing that it does is go, oh, doggo, 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 and that's it. That's the whole commentary and everything. And like, the comments were just flooding with like oh so cute that's adorable I don't know why but that got under my skin a part of me was dying watching that dragon dancer boss is uh, so damn cool I want to fight that guy battle. I know it looks like a really cool and I'm excited about it and, and like Another thing that I really wonder about with that dragon uh, dance type one is like, will there be a phase two where like the guys underneath it come out or something? Or I, I don't know. Like th there's a lot of interesting stuff that they could definitely do with a boss like that. I need to upgrade this thing. Yeah, I do no damage. Holy little damage I do. Well, that, that's because I'm a scummy mage. And as a scummy mage, <laughs> we find our tanks. Actually, I I found out about this NPC just like the last time I tried this uh, mod. And this was another NPC that was like so broke. Scott, what up? How you doing, Scott? What was I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Same with Mesmer. I want Mesmer's uh, spear and the uh, fit. It looks uh, really cool. Yeah, Mesmer looks like it's going to be a really good boss fight. I hope it's going to be a really good one. Yep, see? It's broken again, this NPC. You know what? I refuse. I'm not doing it until that... Ah, oh, I can't quit out because... NPC is there. Oh wait, but I can uh, force the NPC out. I'm doing pretty good. How you doing, Scott? Doing fine. What have you been up to lately, Scott? Have you been playing just Space Station or uh, have you been playing other things? Also, do let me know if you're still interested in like doing some other type projects because um, I do have some other YouTube stuff that I'm going to be getting into and if you are interested it, it does help to like you know spitball ideas and stuff Watch people complain about bosses uh, being unfair or something when the uh, DLC drops. If it's unwanted, like the uh, Moog, Margot, Malekith, uh, hate, I will actually break a table. <laughs> tired of Space Station? You grew tired of it? No way, dude. Found a single player game called. Uh, stupid YouTube, it's covering that. Astronauts. And that's a uh, little like 13. What's a little like 13? What's that mean? Oh, good. Now the NPC is working. Yeah, that NPC is like broken for some reason. Sometimes it will not interact or do anything. How much damage are we doing? Oh, am I really doing that abysmal damage?
This isn't good. I should have switched to uh, Pyromancy, it seems. I don't like the teleportation of these bosses. It, it makes it very uh, tough for me to track where they are. Oh, come on. I really just want to stagger her. Just so I can get that repost out. I should have got a, uh, a shield out for parrying. This might have been better to just parry. Where's the stagger? Will you stagger? Oh, there we go. And nothing. You know what? I, I want I want I want to switch my, my stuff. I want to switch to Pyromancy. Mm, Amori has been a game that, that's uh, captivated my interest lately. I kind of want to get it and play it. It's in beta. It's a heavy emphasis on uh, salvaging. Ah, uh, okay. Would you say it's similar to Subnautica? Hey, Sol, what's up? How you doing, dude? What time is it for you? It's got to be early. One thing uh, I will uh, give the, the Melania fight is that dodging waterfowl properly under her uh, triple slashes sushi move is super satisfying to do. Still doesn't excuse the bad aspect, uh, but they uh, are uh, fun to dodge. Bro, what this uh, boss uh, is not in the Dark Souls 3. Yeah, this is a mod. Uh, all the bosses in this mod are semi-new. When I say semi-new is they all are a new look that you've never seen before, but they do borrow movesets from all of Souls, some even from Sekiro, which I like. It's very fun and interesting for me to see like these kind of bosses in um, a different game. Holy crap, the stagger. Just because that one guy threw a firebomb. It's a mood. Yeah, but it's uh, 2D though. Oh, 2D. Hmm, that is interesting. Okay, so like, obviously that didn't do any damage. Let's try Fireball. Hopefully they aren't very resistant to fire. Otherwise I may have to come back because I do terrible damage. I don't do like any damage right now. Also, what am I doing? Switch that. 5 a.m. Oh. I do feel like I should just come back to this boss with a, a parry shield instead. That'd probably be better. Really? I thought you were going to keep on chasing. There we go. I have, like, no stamina. There we go. If this boss is really resistant to fire, the only op other option I've got is, like, buying a magic spell. Like, actual magic. Seeing how that does. But dodging Moog's uh, massive uh, swiping and swinging moves uh, with his trident is uh, so fun to do as well as the uh, one move where he uh, charges his fist up. It's been a long time since I fought Moog. Okay. I just want to see what damage I'm doing. Dude, those lunges are so far. All right, what damage are we doing? Oh, that's very respectable damage. I should have got hit by that. I wanted to switch a ring, but I can't right now. Okay, this is a good time to switch rings. Cool. Okay. Now let's see what damage we do. 
171. That's pretty good. Sorry, I'll read your guys' the comments in just a moment. So the last time I fought this guy, I don't know if I, like, killed him too fast, but, like, the other guy didn't spawn in. There's supposed to be a second one that spawns in, so it's a dual crucible fight. Ah, you got me. I don't recognize that move right there. Is that a Crucible Knight move? I just did. Yeah, see? Look at that. It didn't spawn in the other one. It, it bugged out again. All right, if anyone complains about this mod being ridiculously difficult, I'm gonna say do magic, because magic is pretty darn easy in this one. All right. Same thing with God Ring Phase uh, 1 dodging, massive. Man playing Elden Ring right now. I'm trying to uh, complete it with only uh, normal punches. It's like, dude, why? <laughs> That's just abuse. What really sucks is that, like, you can't scale up. Um, I, I think Dark Souls 2 is the only one where your, punch, your uh, fist damage scales with uh, strength and dex a little. But in Elden Ring, I don't like that, like, no matter how much dex and strength you level up, your fist damage doesn't go up. You can only raise it by uh, buffing. <coughs> also been uh, getting uh, really back into the Hollow Knight OST action. Oh yeah, I've got to, I have to return back to Hollow Knight at some point. Do I want to? No, I'll save those souls. Just in case people want to see the weapon from it. Alright, can I two hand now? Yes. Okay, I can do hand now. That's good. Forgot to mention, uh, you need to, to do it at level one. So you're doing uh, punching at just level one. All right, upload it. I'll, I'll watch it when you get it up there. Mo Morgod, uh, Godfrey, Fortis Axe, uh, Godskin, but the Hollow uh, Knight OST is unique and so amazing. Those five Elden Ring tracks are probably the only ones in part in Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight is a really good game. You guys are making me feel feel bad because like I haven't finished Hollow Knight yet. <laughs> it's not that like it's because I find it difficult or anything, it's more just like haven't gotten around to it. Do I have Titanite? No. Okay. We'll just go here then. Let's go to the red mine. Thing annoying with uh, that they uh, don't tell you where to go. That that was my big frustration with Hollow Knight is I was getting a I was getting lost a lot. I really enjoy the boss fights. There are quite a few boss fights that uh, I can think of that I liked, but like it almost felt too big for me. That that came out very whatever. What's said is said. Do I do enough damage for you guys? Yeah, they downscaled these guys a lot.
prism stones. That wasn't worth it. I should have just backstabbed. Wait, so how far are you, Soul, into your um, fist rune level 1 run? Not uploading anything, it's a challenge that you're doing for fun because you have nothing to play. Yeah, that's kind of the thing, you're supposed to uh, get lost and explore and to backtrack since the Metroidvania. See, and that's why like Hollow Knight, I probably would enjoy a lot on my own time. As uh, I, I think I've told you guys before, I've got this really bad paranoia. I don't know if paranoia is the right word for this, but like where I, I don't want a lot of dead time on stream because I feel bad that there are people who are watching. So that's why like Hollow Knight just didn't work out very well for me streaming. Yeah, so like and that's why I do play a lot of the Souls games as well because like for playing the Souls games, I feel like I can at least fight like one or two bosses to keep it interesting. If I don't fight like one or two bosses in a stream, then I feel like I'm making you guys watch junk. Like me falling off to my death. Main critiques I see of uh, Hollow Knight are the poor pacing of the early game and the map system and the backtracking. Right now you're at Lurai Lucario. Ugh. Wait, you're doing Queen uh, Renala? Renala is really annoying rune level one, no matter what kind of thing you're doing. Unless you like got a fully decked out weapon. I don't care about those uh, souls. I'm just gonna grab and run. Uh, but now that you do mention it, uh, the. The beginning of Hollow Knight did feel quite sluggish in movement and stuff for me, which I wasn't too crazy about. As soon as like it started unlocking of, like the uh, dashes and everything, I, I started to really like it a lot. Okay, I gotta go kill some guys now. Can I make you fall in this hole? Oh, come on. Come on, I am offering you hole. Go into hole. Come on, you know you want it. Thick. Come on, just go into the hole. You want the hole. Come on. Yeah, you're right there. Perfect. Both of them in there. Together. That making the game on such a small budget resulted in some areas uh, just not having enough uh, content. After the game had made some money, they uh, went back and added bosses uh, to certain areas that just didn't have any. Oh, really? I did not know that. Because what at first I was about to say is like that game did not feel empty at all. But it, it's definitely a game that I want on my phone. I would love if they uh, put it on the phone and if I had like a decent controller because it is one that like I would be interested in like just exploring whenever I have like free time. It's not a game that I think I would sit down and like play through completely all in one take like that. Gotta go we'll get some sleep before school and uh, probably watch the full stream. Alright thanks for stopping by dude and uh, good luck with your rune level 1 fisting. Yeah. I don't know if I should have said it that way. Maybe it's a good thing you're not recording yourself fisting. Maybe you're missing out. Maybe I should shut up. <clears throat> yeah, good seeing you, dude. Oh, let me take this off. I'm taking extra damage for no reason.
wasn't by any means uh, however the small uh, budget uh, did uh, definitely affect development in certain areas so there's a lot of kind of boss they added it to uh, you know later update when they had more money oh that's good I think that says a lot about the integrity of the uh, company that they really wanted to make a good game not just like make a cash sale cash cropped that's what I meant to say Was that always an undead bone shark? That's nice. Um, I believe that is all of the guys going this way. Well, that really sucks. Here's a, here's a random question just for any of you guys watching. So I, I used to stream like every single day and for my time zone it was always 9 o'clock till midnight and I think that was really good because like it helped some people was like know it's like okay if I want to tune in I know exactly what time it will be. But lately I've been just doing whenever I feel like it just because my life's just been sporadic lately. Uh, but I have even been thinking I've also been thinking about just like any time at all what do you guys think about that would that be too annoying just doing any time streaming okay just need to sneak by you what has you excited yeah. You need to die. As you excited as the enemy. Gosh, time. Enemies, bosses, and Silk Song are supposed to be faster, smarter than the ones in Hollow Knight to accompany a Hornet's uh, quicker uh, style of combat. Prefer the uh, night streams because it's uh, constant and I know I'm free at night. That's your preference. Yeah, okay. But, like, it, it, what I was going to say is, like, it may not be, like, just uh, I replace, like, sometimes during the day with the night, but, like, sometimes I'll stream in the mornings just for the hell of it. Because, uh... Again, because my work schedule and everything is sporadic, sometimes I have uh, mornings completely free. And rather than sleeping in, I'd rather do something. I hate these guys. These guys are so... Oh, I really need to upgrade this sword. Okay. That's the drunkard from Sekiro. Oh, yeah. The big guys. Yep. Those are. It's kind of cool. I, again, I like, even though people are like complaining, like, oh, they reskin stuff. I like seeing other characters from uh, the other FromSoft in here. And his uh, moveset doesn't feel too out of place in um, this mod either, which is good. Ow, oh, you dick. Okay, I'm not dying here. I'll go up this elevator and die instead. But yeah, so far, I've got to say, like, doing a luck build, it's pretty good on this mod. Come on, it didn't lock on. I, I do not like how many iframes these guys have. It's a ridiculous amount. Because by the time you cast they probably dodged like this one i'm probably gonna miss him yep even though i knew i was gonna miss him i gotta try look that one as well that's way too many iframes screw it it's not even worth killing him 
And I haven't upgraded this weapon yet, so I know that that's not going to be any good. Let me just sneak back, grab the items, then I'm going to grab the items back this way, then I'll go down the elevator. Oh, there's two items now. Oh, I'm so glad that I got this dung. That's one of the great things about um, Dark Souls. You get all excited about stuff just to grab dung. All right, let's see if we... Uh, uh, is he going to die? Is he going to drop down and die? There you go. You dick. Like, what has you excited is that they could uh, possibly uh, make fights faster than uh, Nightmare King uh, Grim, pure vessel, uh, sister, uh, sister's battle, which uh, are probably the three fastest fights in the game. But here's the thing. Would it be good to do that in a fresh get, fresh play? Or would it be better to like have that in a new game plus, where like then you got to encounter those? Because then you may uh, run into these people who are going to complain about the bosses, like what you've been talking about in Elden Ring, where they're just like, oh, it's just way too... You dick. Where they're just like, it's way too fast and too much. And uh, the reason why I'm bringing that up is because this mod in particular made me realize that um, you kind of got to keep in mind the first time playthrough. Because I do understand, like, when they release it, why they didn't add in many, like, large Titanites or anything. Because in the grand scheme of the whole game, uh, these are, like, lower levels, so you wouldn't have, like, the bigger upgrades yet. But if you look at, like, all the other uh, FromSoft games, you can get, like, some uh, late-game uh, upgrade material early on, just in case you are having, like, a really tough time uh, with your playthrough and you need to uh, do just a little bit more damage. So it kind of rewards like exploring if you need to. Come on, die already. Dude, you ghost way too much. Yeah, but lots of people uh, complain about uh, Elden Ring was uh, that they uh, didn't uh, speed up the uh, player. Silk Song is its own separate game because of Hornet's faster, uh, quick. No, 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 but that's, that's what I'm talking about is I'm not talking about like this game versus that game. I'm talking about the developers keeping in mind the first time playthrough of players because like that's a very large uh, learning curve that some people may not even get around. And that seems to be the problem with some of the Elden Ring bosses. Like there's a big learning curve that like some people just don't want to get around. At least that's how I feel about like if you complain about Morgoth. Because, like, a big part of it is just learning that he does a lot. He has a lot more combos. Oh, come on. Die. There we go. Oh, I didn't trigger it. There we go. Easy. Silk Song uh, was supposed to be a DLC, but uh, she was too quickly to enlarge uh, Hollow Knight. Yeah, yeah, I think you mentioned that one before. For me personally, with how big, um, with how big. Hollow Knight is, I wouldn't have mind if it was split up into a couple of games. Because, like, for me, it just felt, like, a little too much uh, going from one end of the map all the way out to the other end. So, loincloth. Glad that I came in here for someone's loincloth. Can you get out of the doorway? It's kind of annoying. Okay. We're gonna go. Oh, 
Oh, so that's a one-shotter. Okay. A lot of people try and uh, treat Elden Ring uh, fights uh, like Dark Souls 4, but they uh, just don't uh, operate like Dark Souls 4. Well, it, again, it's more of... I don't think it's more of just like... They're treating it like the wrong game. It's no matter what, each boss, if it's a good new boss, there's a learning curve to it. So like there were a ton of people that had, had like huge, huge, huge complaints about uh, Sister Freed. Not about her three, uh, not about her three phases, but just about like her move sets in general. I heard a lot of that because they just weren't used to a boss that jumps around so much. Well, that was stupid of me. <laughs> Have to create your own uh, openings uh, through positioning and attacks uh, during delays uh, in between. Yeah, exactly. I mean, and like you can say that because you know the boss line and everything, but like there are a lot of people that have no idea. They have no idea what to do or how to bait out certain attacks. Of course, I kind of wonder if uh, some of those people are coming from, like, just the button masher games where as long as you do a good build, you just got to keep on uh, pressing to win. Which, again, that's why I like uh, Souls games a lot, because you can have a very weak build, but if you, like, know the patterns and everything and know how to bait out what you need, you're good. Really? You were... Screw it. I don't know why that took me so many attempts. That shouldn't have taken so many attempts. I think it's because I was just trying to do it faster than I should. But yeah, like I was saying is this demo, it, this demo made me think a lot about the first time playability that developers have to keep in mind because I was able to beat this uh, demo but like even though I was like highly impressed by bosses and areas and stuff I was really ticked off I it, it's weird that like I enjoyed this demo a lot my first playthrough but I was also extremely ticked off and what really ticked me off is that there are quite a few weapons where their pacing just doesn't work they're a little bit too slow and I understand that there's slower pacing because they do more damage in one hit. But, like, it's just too slow that, like, a boss will hit you several times. And, like, you're going to be uh, staggered. Which, the counter to that would be getting on heavier armor so you don't get uh, staggered so much. But, because it's a demo and you don't get enough souls, you aren't going to be leveling up high enough to, like, be able to use a giant weapon and uh, put on heavy armor. Where's that? Gosh darn it. Am I gonna one cycle you? Come on, before you go down. Oh yeah, I got this. Cool. Uh, also, apparently, Silk Song uh, will uh, be uh, less platforming uh, focused and more combat focused, as the dev said uh, in an interview. Well, that kind of stinks. I, I did like the challenge of the platforming. I, I thought that was a great part of the game because you don't. I haven't come across many games that take that take as much advantage of the platforming and abilities combined. So I, I liked it a lot. However, I could see how in like following playthroughs it could be kind of annoying kind of like how uh, there are puzzles in games where it's like exciting the first time because you haven't done it before but then having to do them for like following playthroughs where you already know it it's not as exciting did he kill that yeah he killed that scorpion what a jerk Ow. 
I really thought I was going to stagger him out of his shield. Like that. These guys don't do those huge iframe rolls. Of course, there's a guy right behind me. I'm gonna run into more enemies if I keep on back pedaling. Wrote the other guy as well. Oh, I'm so screwed. <laughs> yeah, there's no coming back from this. I don't want to fight that guy as well. Those are the most annoying ones. Really? That didn't hit him? Come on, that's got... That's such bull. Really? Ugh, I'm gonna die here. tracking me oh oh I did not think he was gonna reach all the way up there um, from what I've seen uh, there is still a uh, cool platforming it's just uh, gonna be less of a focus uh, than the first game also there will be less of a focus on magic and arcane themes and aesthetics it's gonna be more real what do you mean by more real? Instead of magic uh, soul uh, fireballs, you launch it with the throwing knives or uh, tracking saw blades. Oh, uh, okay. So kind of like less of the magic side, more of physical type, more of like mm, devices, items. Uh, I'm not sure how to put it. Ah, what loser leaves their souls just chilling like that? that what a loser. Okay. There we go. That's how it should have gone. Oh, I didn't even look at what items I got. I got. Oh, you had an aggro, didn't you? It's those iframes in that roll. It's just way too much. Because look. Oh, great. I'm so glad that he can roll right through all of my spells. Yeah. And like, if he was slower, that wouldn't be a problem. The problem is that like, he stays on top of you so much that like, it doesn't leave a lot of openings. And then, like, he ha he can do, like, a 3-4 combo. Yeah, just like that. And that's why I don't, like, try and bait out too many of the um, physical attacks. Yeah, these guys are very aggravating for me when you're doing um, magic.
Now there's a whole tool system that will replace the uh, charms and a uh, crest system uh, that totally uh, changes your moveset. Ah, interesting. Um, after I played some of uh, Hollow, Hollow Knight, I was looking into it. There are some broken builds you can make with that game. I didn't realize that. Really, you're just doing ungodly amounts of damage. Okay, is this the last battle? I think this might be. Ah, yeah, that was the last one. Cool. Karthus Milk Ring. Time to milk some. Yeah, I, I just found it f interesting that there were like really busted builds in Hollow Knight because like when I was playing it, I would have never thought of like there would be things that like double hit hitboxes or have lingering hitboxes for damage. Should go level up. Then we can try Obadiah. Actually, before that, I should. I think I can level up my Pyromancy Gloves, so I'll do that. Charm is a, add a surprising amount of build variety to the game. Yeah, and I didn't really utilize the charms at all. Well, not at all, but like very little. And I do remember you and Blue, you're like, hey, remember that you can use um, you can use these abilities. And like they are very powerful. And like anytime that I would remember like the slam attack, that one in particular, that did a lot of damage. And I can get another Estus, so let me do that. And I know that this is controversial, but like, if I can add a mod to uh, Hollow Knight to add a boss health bar, I would appreciate it. Because like, to me, it's, I, I feel very unmotivated smacking a boss a bunch of times and not really knowing if I'm doing much at all. Uh, my biggest problem was more of like, I don't know if I'm doing the right amount of damage or not. Or if this is something that I should come back to later. Let's do a little bit of faith. Alright, and I got an undead bone shot I should burn. Oh, just enough. There's a mod for that. Probably. I, I didn't look into modding um, Hollow Knight at all. Just because, like, when I do return to it, I I probably will just play it as it is. I don't want to be messing around with that. I, I don't like going into games, modding them right away. I, I'd rather play it as it was intended or, like, just, you know, the vanilla playthrough. It's busted. I, I didn't realize it was that busted, though. Tune spell. Fireball. Let's put on our pyromancy glove. Do we want to make ourselves a squish build? Let's make ourselves a squish build. Let's see if we can do, like, some decent fireball damage to him. I'm not even going to... Yeah, I'm not even going to Ember. Because, like, I, I do think that this is going to just end terribly. Yeah. 200. That's good. As I said, probably going to end terribly. Hmm. Anyone know the owl? Yeah. I swear I thought I rolled. Yeah. 
Oh, shit. I got lucky. He didn't go all the way over to me. Are you kidding? I'm not lucky. That's bull. He did the slight sidestep to the right. That's heal. Oh, wow. Phase two already. Yeah, I like keeping the uh, skeletons around because he stays more passive and just tries to cast more than use his uh, sword. So I do think he's easier with the skeletons around as long as the skeletons aren't getting in your way. Like right now. Come on. Of course, I should probably be using my wondrous, not wondrous physic, my apothecary physic, I should say. You guys really need to get off me. Okay, you attack so that I can throw. You dick. He's gonna kill most of them. Those flames do so much damage. See, he doesn't have crazy iframes like those other... Oh, they decrease that fire damage a lot. That used to be like a nightmare fire damage attack. I'm so dead. If he tickles me, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, you stupid skeleton! I, I thought the skeleton died! Did I get it? I think I got it. <laughs> I, I thought that the skeleton was gonna die with him instantly. I think I got it. I didn't think I was gonna get it on that try. Oh, yeah. We're good, we're good. It's a lot of souls. I knew you would do it. Yeah, thanks. Didn't even help me. What? Um, sorry, I missed a lot of what you were talking about. Never had a problem with the uh, boss health bars and not being there. Bosses usually uh, go down in a minute or two when you're uh, probably leveled up so if it takes a uh, longer time I knew I wasn't at level only bosses uh, that take longer and that are super bosses that take maybe two three uh, minutes when at level market rush moog slam adds need to be uh, need to go down in one hit and need to come in time and change mine okay cool and I think she moves back to the nexus now Oh, that's all the bosses for this area. I just realized that. So this area is cleared. Which reminds me, there's a side boss that I want to do real quick as well. Um, I should probably buy some uh, sorceries real quick. Thirteen. Two levels into it. Okay. I'll do that. Goodbye. Because I think there might be some bosses that are strong to uh, fire and dark. Hopefully this is enough for two levels. That is not enough for two levels. Almost. 600 more. I should be able to sell enough for that. In 
I don't really use fire bombs. And I don't. Mm, yeah. Okay. This should be enough. Oh, you know what? I think I have enough to take on that one boss over here. What's his name? Kremel or Krellen? Very excited to see how they're uh, going to make bosses uh, better, faster than uh, pure wrestling. It will be interesting. None of those are going to help me much. Jerk. I'm going to die before I get into your world, aren't I? Nope. The lace fight to a bush. I read half of your comment, your message before. <laughs> Jump in. Do I do enough damage? I'm not doing any more damage now, am I? Oh yeah, I think I might have enough damage for this fight. Of course, the other like real good option is just to uh, level up my weapon so I can do melee. But I'm I'm trying to like kind of commit to um, casting because normally anytime that I do like a magic build, I end up like breaking my build and going for melee instead. Actually, no, I don't think I'm going to have enough for this. Can you not stand in the way and get your head smashed in? I might barely have enough for this. I'm going to have to get at least one repost in the next phase if I want to get this. Then again, if I use that Apothecary Flask, it would be fine. I'd probably be able to do enough damage or have enough FP. Dude, don't kill him. Oh, I, I ran into a freaking wall. Uh, he's gonna die before I get this. That's not good. Oh, that's gonna hurt. That AoE is just way too big. Like, I have not been able to roll out of that ever. The only way I've been able to avoid that attack is only to run away from its distance. Oh, that's the repost I needed, but I'm too far. Wow, well, those guys did a good job tanking. <coughs> yeah, that's it. Oh, wait, I'm alive? No, I'm dead. Ooh! Come on, come on. Oh, shoot. I got there like a second too late. So double damage will be uh, much more common in Silk Song than Hollow Knight because of Hollow Knight's heal works. Wait, what do you mean by double damage? She heals uh, nowhere near as much as the knight, but when she does, she heals uh, for three masks. 
Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to be back in just a moment. I got to go use the bathroom. Okay, uh, but yeah, the uh, lace fight from uh, Silk Song, which uh, seemed to look so really good. Wait, when did the did a video come out? Um, a teaser come out or something? Let me go kill some other bosses and get my luck up. I want to do a little bit more damage before doing that again. go to Phoenix okay cool I can do this boss fight this is an easy boss fight this shouldn't be bad at all Been out for years, but can send you a vid of the fight in Discord. Also, what I mean by uh, double damage is that they will do uh, two massive damage. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. Cool. Now we can enter sleep. I do like that they added a mechanic like this. I think this is kind of interesting. Yeah, send uh, send that uh, lace uh, fight. Check it out. It's possible that I've seen it. I'm just not recognizing the name as well. And prove thy worth to Quayla, God of Dream. That one right there, the skinny one that I'm shooting first, has the moveset of like a Nox from Elden Ring. You know, the uh, flowing hammer and all those. That's why I want to take them out because like, got some quick long range attacks. This other one just is a um, gladiator fight. Gladiator moveset, what are they? So, easy for me to deal with. Man, 
man, magic is so cheesy. <laughs> All right, easy. This is cool though, because like, I've done I've done that one luck build in Dark Souls Three, but like, there's no magic attached to it, so. This is kind of cool having a uh, luck magic build. Okay, cool. So now I can um, refight old bosses if I choose to, just by sleeping here. Which I think is a great mechanic. I think this is really cool. I like this a lot. There you go. I can fight this boss, this boss. The only thing that I don't like about these refighting these bosses is a lot of it is in like not completely monochromatic, but like it's got a monochrome uh, film over it, so it's very. Mm, not discolored, but it's very. Um, it's not very contrasty, which makes it a little bit difficult to see for some of the fights. At least for me, it does. Wait, did I get souls for that? No, I didn't. This should be another easy fight. Unless I got pinned in a corner or something. Not the most amazing damage, but not bad either. And she's pulling all the aggro already, so we're good. Wow, look at how much damage we've already done. So this guy has about 5,000 uh, health, it looks like. And he is broken, running in the corner. This is actually a tricky fight when you're doing melee. He does move around a lot. But again, this one I'm kind of like showing for people who are having a hard time. That this can be an easier way to play the demo. Alright. I forgot what his kindling does. It recovers FP with successive attacks and increases max FP while embered. Yeah, not too crazy about that. Cool. Let's go level up our luck. There's one more boss here that I can take out as well. Oh, I need to switch. Probably better with fireballs. Oh, you know what? 
I may not have opened up this way yet. Nope, didn't open up this way. Still got to do that. sucked. Just posted it. Okay, cool. I will check that out. Sometimes I feel like a dick because um, when I check out like stuff that you like sent, you guys sent to me on Discord, I get on and then see like there are other messages and stuff that I haven't seen for days. That was a fast grab. The double damage with lace. Okay. I'm only doing melee right now, just because I don't want to use up my uh, FP before the boss fight. Oh, they switched him out? Oh, that sucks. There's nothing... Wait, are you a pus? Are you a pus boy now? No, he's regular. Ah, uh, but that sucks, because it was a... Uh, could, it was a Lothric Knight that had the uh, great sword, And, like... On my first playthrough, it dropped the uh, Lothric Knight's uh, Greatsword, and I was so excited because that's one of my favorite weapons. I mean, he hits like a tank, so I got it, but dang. I don't care about upgrading that right now. I'm going to get hit as soon as I'm down. No. Dead bone. Oh, now I'm going to get hit. Well, this sucks. Can I bait you guys over and you got enough time? Eh, good enough. What's this? So that's where they put an extra Estus shard. That's interesting. You want to fight some other guys for me? Let's do that. Fight them, not me. There we go. Well, that's one down. Who's gonna win? I'm gonna say the pussy's gonna win. You know what? I don't think I need to even stick around and find out who's gonna win. I saw enough. Unless I got fire bombs. Okay. Oh, they're not they're not even gonna fight. I can hear the pussy coming. That that sounded very wrong. The puss man coming. Screw you. Freaking game. Also, the lace theme is really good. Apparently, the devs uh, will have access to an orchestra for the OST from what you've heard. And the lace theme is a uh, full live recorded track. Oh, wow. That is very nice. I did. I do remember enjoying the music in it a lot. And, um,.
Sorry, just checking everything. And Hollow Knight. I should be able to do this easy. Gosh, this darn lock. Oh, wow, that's good damage. Really good damage. Oh. Oh, they changed that. That should have hit me. I think they uh, made that hitbox a lot smaller. I think one more. Do one more, just case. I gotta stop rolling back and start rolling more to the side. Is he not going to change? <laughs> Wait, so what happens? Because he didn't go to phase two like he's supposed to. I just really wanted to see if I could get him into phase one. Because before the patches and everything, when he was at half health, he would go into his phase two, which he didn't. In the end, I took a risk and found out nothing at all. It wasn't really worth it. Godfrey? Yeah, it's Godfrey. That one, it's just straight up all of his uh, same moves. Ah, uh, it kind of stinks that. Ah, uh, it's just one of those guys. Okay, let's see. I think I am going to change my kindling, though. Because I've got one that can help me cast faster. And I'd rather have that. Or, no. I... I think this is one of the best ones, just because like it gives you better resistance overall. Did I have a lot of souls? I don't think I did. Stop chasing me, bro. Thank you. Again, it's very interesting playing an Elden Ring type boss with Dark Souls moveset. Like this, this moveset, the combat in this mod is definitely a little beefed up than regular Dark Souls 3, but like, Still, basically Dark Souls 3 uh, combat and everything. But when I first uh, played this guy, my big problem is that like when I play uh, regular Godfrey, I do more jumps. There are no jumps in this. No, I rolled that. I'm gonna get hit. Oh, come on. I even rolled thinking that I would get out of it. That's a lot of curse that he did. Because, like, I have this thing that's souping up my resistance to stuff. And that still almost like got me. Okay, I got you. I don't know if I'm gonna heal in time. Okay, I did. That 
was bad on my part. One more. Okay, not bad. Uh, I love seeing uh, what moves uh, they reuse and where they reuse uh, them from. It's like a game uh, of Where's Waldo, but with uh, boss move sets. That's kind of what I like about it. And like, uh, especially with, with that uh, Krellen guy. No, I can't remember what his name is. I like it because like most of his move sets are Radagon, but then seeing Artorius thrown in there and like actually working is kind of cool. It's because I play through all the Dark Souls and I like them. I, I do enjoy very much like. Yeah, yeah, pretty much what you said. Just like playing a game of like seeing where things are or where they were pulled from. Oh, are you kidding me? He's not even trying to dodge. He's just accidentally dodging everything. One shot. One shot. I don't like that I have to run back to a bonfire now. It would have been nice if I just had a bonfire or something. Because Godfrey particularly is a fight that uh, definitively uh, incentivizes a jump attacks. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, like, when I first played that guy in my first playthrough, absolutely hated him. I thought he was absolute dog crap. <laughs> Problem is that I kept on pressing my A button trying to jump when... That doesn't exist here. So it's a little bit interesting relearning his boss fight with rolls instead of uh, some jumps. I, feel, I still think it's more fluid of a more fluid fight jumping because you can stay closer to him. But this is still fun for me. Okay, cool. So I believe that is, yeah, that's all of the enemies here. So we have two areas that are completely cleared now. Oh, this has a really irritating run that I'm about to do. I don't know if they fixed it. I don't know if they changed this run, but this is a very irritating, actually, do I want to do this run? Because I'm not suited to do this boss fight for this run right now. I'll get the bonfire anyways. I want one more blue. One of the uh, most jump attack heavy uh, fights in Elden Ring. I bet you had a lot of fun fighting him with your uh, dual size. Got in a bunch of. Um... There we go. Bunch of good jump attacks. change out my rings. I was taking extra damage for no reason. Let's change you to the evil line. This guy hits like a freaking tank. Or at least he did before. A lot of these fights uh, look cool, but none of them uh, jump out uh, at you as being particularly amazing. They have the same movesets, but a lot of the uh, spectacle uh, that Elden Ring fights uh, have is uh, kind of gone. That's rip them on devs, uh, just uh, something you notice. Um, yeah, I mean, what really takes away from it is uh, it is stuff that you've seen before. So like, it's a fun moment to like recognize 
and like playing this mod i'm not really going into a thing that's going to be completely new i'm enjoying more of like the regular enemies and the areas so i i think i do see what you mean is like it doesn't have the grandioso of like something very new um they do have a couple of bosses in this that are very new however for me it just doesn't move it doesn't fit into the combat system very well and i'm i'm pretty sure that they're in here that way because they want to incentivize that um their reflex system not reflex system but not like it's not parrying what is it called because it would work but like it's i don't know it's, there's there's some stuff that needs to be ironed out <laughs> I'm not doing a very good job of uh, thinking of it and explaining it right now. It's not that uh, I have uh, seen them before, it's uh, just that uh, the spectacle is uh, just kind of not there. Like the Radagon Elven Ring uh, move on the uh, one boss look oh, wet. What? What fart compared to the actual thing? Radagon Elven Ring move on the one boss. Um, Wait, which uh, Radagon uh, one? There we go. Oh, they took out a lot of guys. There was one guy going up and down here. That was annoying. And then there were two of these guys. And these are extremely annoying characters for this... For, like, this and move system and everything. Because, like, they're as irritating as birds in Elden Ring. The way that they run around. And then this one over here, he would always explode. Causing, like, extreme... Okay, so this run is way better than what it used to be. I mean, this bird is still irritating, but it's not the worst thing ever. Yeah. No, what I hated is that there were, like, four guys right here. So, like, normally you would feel like you have to run, and then this guy, he can jump at you from, like, almost anywhere. And the amount of explosion that he does takes out all of your health and it's a very tight roll for that one so you can barely roll it that was extremely irritating this run almost felt like you had to kill every single guy but it, it also you got to keep in mind that like i'm doing a mage build which kind of a, a lot of these bosses are better than i'm making them look because i am the mage build does it does feel like cheesing them. You don't got to like see as much of the actual flow of the fight. Where he slams the ground three times in the uh, Elden Ring above. Oh, okay, that one. Yeah, it. There's some things that don't fit in very, very well, but oh well. What was that? Ten thousand four hundred. Okay. Um, I'm never going to use these. Okay, I think that's enough. Lucky luck. Got to forget I didn't have the arena music uh, build up or appearance either. No shock waves uh, as well. Again, not ripping. Uh, does but it does uh, look or feel as cool yeah and like a lot of that kind of stuff does come with experience as well and um i don't i don't know much about these developers or anything but i don't think any of them have a very extensive background in game development but um there are some game development stuff that they don't exactly follow 
So, so that that's a part of why I don't want to be too harsh on it. Is it's some people who are just trying hard to make a a mod that they would enjoy, and for other people to enjoy. So, I'm trying to enjoy it. I think I should have enough damage now. I didn't switch this out. I mean, I will say, to me, he looks like some ancestral Native American type person. I don't know if that's racist to say, but that's just the vibes that I get off of this guy. Yeah, again, uh, there's a lot of movesets that you're missing out on that are kind of, they, they flow with the combat, but I think I see what you mean. It's like, they they don't look good. They look a little bit janky. But it is very complicated to make moves look right with different characters and games. I hate that attack. I need to try and get at least one repo, so I'm gonna stay kind of near him. Yeah, I like those, it does seem a little bit weird. <laughs> I should have gone in for whatever. Oh. I think that was going to go all the way through. And he's pretty much destroying everything. Do not kill him. If that guy dies, this... Yep, he's dead. Great! Great. I'll come back when I have even more damage. The bigger challenge is trying to keep that NPC alive. Yeah. I think a big part of it is I like these are areas that I like in Dark Souls 2 I do understand that like some people really don't like enemy placement the difficulty in Dark Souls 2 but I at the same time no one really talks about how cool the areas well I can't say no one does but not a lot of people are talking about like how cool some of the areas are I really enjoy these areas it's just people don't talk about it because they'd rather complain about Dark Souls 2 more so I do like seeing it in the mod uh, these areas Heavenly Ivory King. Yeah. <laughs> Should we do that? Or... How many uh, tie Knights do I have? Six. Let's see. I kind of don't want to spend these because I may craft the weapons out of them. No, I'm not. I don't know why. I, I always get that stuck in my head where it's like, oh, I couldn't use these for the at some point.
right, now I'll actually do damage with the sword. Like heavy Ivory King vibes. Uh, out of the uh, From games that I have played, Elden Ring had the coolest areas in the world, but that's because it's an open world and uh, that's uh, what it excels at. Yeah, I liked a lot of. I don't know. It's I, I'm kind of a dick where like it's it's hard to impress me, and like I, I don't mean to be a dick about it, but like it's very rare for me to like find something where I'm like actually like mind blown by it. Um, there are only a couple of areas in uh, in Elden Ring that did it. One of them was actually Ronnie's Rise. That's one that I really did enjoy a lot. That and then Halleck Tree. But then what brings it down for Halleck Tree for me is um, there just wasn't a lot to it. I wish there was more to it. <laughs> and then one that does really stick out to me that's not actually from soft is uh, Liza P that opera house that one was one that like actually surprised me where when that when I first got to that opera house and it opened up that was a moment where I did in my mind go wow it looked great. Lundell is actually uh, so good. The music, atmosphere. <coughs> Final boss. Oh, I swallowed my spit. That's terrible. Ugh, level design. Oh, man. <coughs> yeah, it's good. Don't swallow your spit the wrong way. Jeez. I was going to say something, but it's completely out of mind now. <clears throat> mm, let's see. I'm not sure how well this is going to go. This may not go very well, this fight. You jerk. This is a boss design that I really like that I haven't really seen before. Um, you can kill these deacons and like, if you kill him fast enough, he will spawn with a lot less health. I tried this mod with uh, my friend Donnie and we got the boss to uh, spawn in with only half health, which was really cool. Come on. I'm struggling for stamina. Okay, this is the last one. Come on. I'm gonna rebuff just in case. It's these guys all around that makes this a bit more tough. They are just always smacking you. Also, they gotta be careful of um, a lot of projectiles on the, oh, this one, getting cursed. This is the one that like you get cursed and you gotta run away from. It covers a large area. I wasn't paying attention.
I gonna get smacked? Oh, he's doing the curse one again. I gotta get out. Actually, this... I think they made this guy a lot easier. This uh, boss fight is going extremely easy. And also, I don't think that curse is building up nearly as fast as it used to. Oh, come on, I can't move. Oh, I'm stuck! Dude, I know I rolled that. But I really like that you get to see Aldrich before he ate Gwendolyn. Well, before he's trying to eat Gwendolyn. Because in Dark Souls 3, we only see him when he's trying to uh, swallow Gwendolyn, the god. Oh. I wonder if one of these is going to turn into a door um, when the mod is complete. Yeah, that was way easier than I was expecting. Mm -hmm. We'll go back to the Nexus. So that's what Aldrich uh, looks like. Uh, Without the uh, F boy. I should have just said femboy instead of F boy. I made it 100% worse by saying it that way. I mean, that's their rendition. And, like, that's a part of. Uh, when I did get a talk with one of the mod developers, that's one of the things he mentioned is like they wanted to like show areas that we never got to sh never got to see in Dark Souls. It's talked about in items and stuff, but we just never got to see it. And that's what I think is cool about this is because uh, all of FromSoft's games, they're left kind of open ended. There's a lot more to it that they just never shared because it didn't fit in their game, and they're not going to try and cram stuff in. Okay, now we should be able to take on what's-his-face. Now we should be able to do enough damage. Do they ever say what? I don't have any of my flasks. Oh, I put it all. I'm an idiot. Yep, yeah, return to my world. So I, I know that it's Godwin the Golden, but like, do they have any other hints as to like what he's about or anything? Besides being Godwin the Golden? Do I dare do this? That's, this means that I won't be able to heal at all. Actually, yeah, I can do that. That should be fine. Because I have a bunch of these. Yeah, I can use those instead. Just this time. One me got went up really bad. <laughs> Dragons. He has a lot to do with the uh, dragons, and he was the uh, best friends with Forest Axe. Oh, that is true. I forgot about that. Two hundred, straight up two hundred. That's cool.
<laughs> He's completely ignoring uh, Sorig over there. No. Nice try. Nice try. Oh, but he did uh, build frost. Dude, look at those iframes. I've shot you how many times and you didn't get hit at all. That is ridiculously stupid and annoying. Come on, go down. There we go. Mikla also loved Godwin a lot. He was trying to bring uh, Godwin back from the dead. Or something like that. Yeah. I should have enough for this. Ah, freaking iframes during grabs. Oh shoot. I got lucky there. Sorig might still die before I can uh, do enough damage. Uh, maybe. Ah, oh, shoot. I hate that move. I need the extra damage at full house. Dude, all those knights are just watching. And he's doing it again, of course. Oh, that's a new move. I haven't seen that one before. Where he did it all around. Okay, finally. Gwen grab. Oh, that was a Gwen grab. I didn't even realize that. That did look like it, didn't it? Where you held him up like that. Man, in this demo alone, they have almost 20 bosses. And when I asked uh, that developer... I said I asked him is like is this close to 30% and he's like I think 30% percent is a pretty good assumption of um how much this covers which means that like this entire mod might have like 60 bosses in total which I think is pretty good that's a lot Oh come on give me my Astus there we go. Already having the move sets and stuff, it probably uh, helps a lot in making them. Uh, not really. Because, uh, like I said, a lot of it is... Some movesets are to a specific um, model. And, like, what some people don't realize is, like, there are some models where, like, the arms are stretched out and some of them are shrunk down. And also adapting from Elden Ring combat to Dark Souls and across the games, a lot of it needs to be sped up and slowed down. Well, specifically slowed down. Elden Ring is a lot faster combat. So a lot of these movesets are s slowed down not... Not enough that you notice right away, but like it is just slightly off that it makes it more fair for um, Dark Souls 3's slower combat and rolling. So like there's a lot of rebalancing that has to be done and tweaked. So like yeah, it, it is like nice having something already set up, but 
it doesn't mean that it's technically a lot faster. There's a lot of other things that need to be tweaked in it. He's probably going to charge me now, isn't he? Yeah, he wasn't very happy about me. I should have got hit by that. Oh, yay, I framed through everything, why don't you? You can hear me just spamming the button. So this, this, is, this is the life of Mage right here, just spam it. Just keep on spamming. Just out of range of all of these attacks, just keep on spamming. Is this the jank that you're talking about? I don't know, it doesn't seem too janky to me. It does seem a little bit, now that you've mentioned it. But at the same time, um, it, it does have a different timing to it though. Well, yeah, I don't think any moveset is going to look as good as the OGs. Just for the fact of that was specifically made for that boss for a reason. It's a, it's the personality of the boss and everything captured in their movesets. See, all I can do is run away from that. Sorg is gonna die, but it doesn't matter when it's in my world. Run away. Still, uh, want to say Abyss Watchers, but you, you still... Ah, you shouldn't be reading! What am I doing? <laughs> See, whenever I play as a scummy mage, I think, oh, everything is super easy. I don't have to think about anything. I get very lazy when I play as a mage. Freaking Caleb, <laughs> you're gonna get me killed. But yeah, when I was uh, doing a melee build, for the melee builds, he does feel like a good boss fight. He doesn't feel too ridiculous or anything. Except for that move. I hate that move. But yeah, it's funny that you bring up the Abyss Watchers because um, they've got the Abyss Watchers in here, but in the worst way possible. I don't think I'll get to the Abyss Watcher fight here, but uh, when I do get there, you'll, you'll see. It's a very disgusting fight. I don't like that one. It's an okay fight. I just don't like it. And I know that there's quite a few guys that uh, don't like those type of fights either.
Oh, charge. And GG. Uh, let's see. Even where even is that move you hate from? I don't know where that slam's coming from, actually. I don't recognize that at all. You do have to keep in mind that there's some moves from Sekiro as well that are in here. It, it, it's definitely not from Sekiro. I'm just saying that. Yeah, actually, I have no idea where that is from. Are you guys just going to chill here now? Okay, that's cool. I feel like it's a modified Radagon move. It feels like a modified Radagon move. Like 99% sure that is Artorias uh, move. I don't know why I thought it uh, was Abyss Watchers. Um, probably because the Abyss Watchers are related to Artorias in a way. That there are a lot of similarities between Artorias and uh, the Abyss Watchers. Chill by ring. It would really suck to like die now and lose all my souls. But yeah, you will see an undeniable Abyss Watcher fight in here. Which again, I don't like. I don't like that one. Uh, the Abyss Watcher has like two or three new moves. It, it fits in with the character very well. Like it flows with a boss fight, but I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it at all. So I was fighting him mainly because I wanted this weapon. Because this weapon is going to make the next fight very easy for me. But I'll show you trying to do magic with this next boss real quick. Oh shoot, I don't have the strength for it. I need one more strength. Uh, 12,000. Do I have enough to sell for that? All right, sorry Gertrude, you're out. You're welcome to come back with more souls. I'll be here. Weren't they like notorious simps? <laughs> um, I did, ugh. Now I don't want to answer because I, d I can't remember exactly. I, I can't remember the exact relation between the two. Something that I do think about that's cool about this weapon though is you can't two-hand it. If you click the button for two-handing, it just switches its buffs. So you can go from ice to fire, which I think is pretty cool. Ooh, let's see. If this fight is still the same way as it used to be, he's gonna absolutely slaughter me. Uh, but I'm, I'm gonna try doing magic first, just to show you guys. Oh, I forgot to change one thing. Oh well, doesn't matter. But this is a boss that like chases you down. At least when I've played him before, he was chasing me down like crazy. Toon spell, got you. And I don't want to accidentally use any of these right now. Yeah, we're gonna do that stack. tremendous damage oh my gosh actually he's not as aggressive as he was before he's way less aggressive this might actually be doable as a mage 
and his damage is severely decreased. I have no idea where most of his movesets are from. I feel like a lot of it is actually Sekiro, but I might be wrong. Really gotta manage my stamina. I don't even have him in phase two. This is significantly easier than what it used to be. This was a boss where I cheesed him through most of my things, my playthroughs. But like the most like proper way that I fought him was doing parrying. And he's, he's a great boss for parrying, I will say that. It feels very slaughtered. Okay. Y'all don't know what would uh, be really funny if Moog just showed up with uh, no uh, changes whatsoever. They just added him in detail uh, for detail just for the uh, walls. I actually did think about that. That would be funny if they just added it. They just straight up added a boss um, from one of the other games in here. And you know what? I wouldn't complain. I wouldn't complain because I did think it would be very interesting to play some some of the other FromSoft bosses and the other games, just to test out different builds, see how they would stack up against each other. Now he's just a Genshiro. Oh yeah, yeah, he is like Genshiro, you're right. This guy right here reminds me of, um, uh, Margit when he's in human form. You know, the shriveled little Margit. <laughs> the shriveled little Margit. Okay. This will make it easy. So phase one is a reskin the shadow and the phase two is a uh, mixed move from Ishin and uh, Gen. Uh, what, what, what's the shadow? I don't recognize that right now. Is that one of the guys from Sekiro? Yeah, you're definitely recognizing a lot more of it than I am, which might be why it's just crazy to me. Mm, let's see. Let's switch you to here. Really don't need that. I'm going tank mode on this. Okay. They're your personal favorite enemies in secure. Ah, uh, okay. They're the guys that, that kick stuff a lot and use it. Oh, okay. I know which one you're talking about now. Yep. Do I want to use any spells at all? Yep. I have no interest in any of these spells. I can just take that off then. Looks like this is best for me. We are just gonna stack everything. Should I do fire or ice against this guy? Let's do fire. The buff doesn't last forever. I should have put in more health. I don't need uh, FP for this, only health. <laughs> I feel like a dick doing this, but... Oh, 
Oh, I should have got that repost. So yeah, a lot of people are complaining about the mod, but like there are tools to make boss fights way easier. You just gotta use them. Definitely need to heal. If I could get one... Oh no, don't bleed me. Ah, dang. Love the pairing, uh, their mage component, no. I'm hearing their thrust. Flynn's ring, good. I actually have to, I had to figure out this build because I was doing a playthrough with Donnie and he wanted to be a caster. And like I had, a f because I always fought him with like just great swords. This guy for staggering, but uh, I found out that like getting this weapon and that combination is very good for just ripping right through him. A lot of people are saying that his weapon is great. I just don't have the. I never had the stats for it. And then you need this to uh, summon one of the bosses. But maybe I should save that for tomorrow. Ooh, there's a new item here. Hello. Soul of the Hand. That's nice. Actually, let me just show you real quick the boss that, like, really ticked me off. I'm pretty sure that this is a 10,000 soul, isn't it? 12,000. Very generous. But this is the boss that ticked me off more than any boss in any Souls game ever. Like, legitimately hate this boss. And it's mainly because, like, well, for two big reasons. It's Phase 2 is extremely obnoxious because, like, it keeps on throwing fireballs that, like, you have to run around a ton to dodge the fireballs and while you're dodging the fireballs it actually disappears and reappears so like you have to try and track something that's appearing and disappearing while it's throwing a ton of junk at you and then um, sometimes when it disappears it just doesn't reappear because the game uh, bugged out I'll give it like a decent shot. I'm not gonna just like completely whiff it. Actually, a funny thing about this boss is I looked at the forum for Arch Thrones, and like there's people who are asking if there's if anyone needs help, and there's like about five or six guys where they're saying that they'll help with any boss in this mo demo except for this phoenix boss they will not fight this phoenix boss oh this uh, stupid guy is here i'm gonna cheese him because i don't feel like wasting stuff before the boss come on This is the, this is one of the things I love about FromSoft games. You can cheese so many things. Actually, can I just keep him staggered? No. He's got way too much poison. I'll do this. Oh. I got his armor. I didn't get his armor before. That's really cool. I want to put it on. It feels like it's out of a different game. And um, my controller is not... My controller is not working now. What, what just happened? 
Did, did that really just break my... The game is completely non-responsive. That was really weird. I have no idea what just happened there. Uh, is that Melania's helmet you have on? There is one that looks a lot like Melania's helmet, but no, not this one. All right, so here's the boss that really annoys me. Hang on. For the full theatrics, you got to look at that uh, burning tower over there. Even that hurts you? Seriously, it's, it's just unnecessary things like that that really annoys me. Oh my gosh, I do way more damage now. Okay, they, they did nerf this guy a lot. This guy is way weaker than he used to be. But like, he did a ton of fire damage, which was another thing that really annoyed me. That I just remembered. Actually, this doesn't feel so annoying. Okay, it's still a lot of fire damage, but not as much as it used to be. Maybe I will get to defeat him if I'm doing this much damage already. I would not be surprised if he... Oh, and he didn't throw fire... So he used to throw, like, seven fireballs right there, which was extremely aggravating. Th those are the same fireballs. Here he would throw more fire. Okay, he didn't throw fire at that time. I, I think those fireballs used to be way faster before, too. Yeah, this is a much, much easier boss than before. It kind of makes me wish that I uh, recorded what he used to be like. Because he was a nightmare. He's dead now. And he didn't disappear this time. I, I usually have him, like, disappear on me all the time. I kind of feel like a dick for killing him with the magic now. Nah, not at all. He was a huge dick before, <laughs> before he was nerfed. But like that's a that's a huge nerf from what it used to be. Well, that was dumb on my part. Ooh, wow, that's a lot of damage. He looks really cool, not gonna lie, but I swear to God, the backflip uh, did the air actually killed you, bro. <laughs> had no idea where any of that. But, like, he used to disappear and reappear way more than that, which was, like, ridiculous. Yeah, if you want an easy mode, get this uh, boss weapon. This boss weapon is so ridiculously fast, and it doesn't use up a ton of stamina. Or maybe it's because uh, their health is a lot lower and I'm not used to it. I thought that was a backstab. Yeah, those guys are a lot easier now. Ooh, I did get a Shriving Stone. I want to test to see if they fixed the, um, the staff that my guy has. Because leveling up my staff before wouldn't change its uh, specs whatsoever. No idea where any of the movesets come from. Um, a lot of the melee attacks are definitely from um, the Guardian from uh, Dark Souls 1's uh, DLC. Okay, I know I'm being a dick for doing this, but I, I want to test out damage. 
284. Okay. And then let's upgrade the staff and see how much damage it does now. I, I kind of wish that he was halfway nerfed now. Because, like, I, I had such a tough time with him before that, like, it did feel quite accomplishing to actually defeat him. So, like, somewhere in, in the halfway of that, that, that felt a little too easy compared to what he used to be. Because, like, uh, he wasn't spamming moving around as much as before. Oh, now it's just Titanite shards. What? Before we used to be Shriving Stones. Okay, I gotta test this out then. Interesting. I don't want to waste too much on it. Okay, let's see. 284, just making sure. And now I can't even hurt her. 200, oh, it actually is scaling up. What? Okay, so remember 284, because I want to see how strong this is going to get. I didn't bother upgrading because before it was broken. This is definitely going to kill her, though. Don't tell anyone. 334. That's a lot of damage. That's pretty darn good. When I replayed Elden Ring Duel, uh, Scythe was uh, kind of busted. The jump attack it did so much damage, and the bleed uh, build was insane. Definitely better than your uh, Dual Twin Blade run. Really? Even better than the Dual Twin Blade? I thought the dual twin blade would have been better because um, don't you get more hits per jump? Isn't it like a three or four hitter while the sides are just like two massive hits? All right, then this is definitely busted. Cool. Uh, I'll probably finish up this mod tomorrow then, but that's where I'm going to call it. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, yeah. Cool. All right, peace out.